Right, so who's going to do the recap for this week? Indeed, I will get well, some... Well volunteered, Zay! <laughs> no, I did last week. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well volunteered, power. <laughs> <laughs> oh, snap. Okay. Well, we continued on our journey... Well, we started, really, on our journey out of Glassfeld, and we took the cart that they gave us, and I made friends with the horses, because I feel like that's important and something that might come up, you know? You never know. And uh, we we did a lot of journeying. Marja kept stealing the alcohol that we've been kindly given. Successfully. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we didn't Honestly, it's annoying, out. but, well, it happens. Uh, and doing a lot of sleeping, but, you know, we were just traveling. Um, and we ran into... Uh, a little encampment, although it wasn't really an encampment, they were in the middle of a battle. Um, we ran into some highwaymen who were attacking a bush. So we smashed the heck out of them, uh, scared the heck out of them, and just generally were, were pretty dope. Uh, and we found out that the bush was actually... Um, it was. I mean, did we ever find out exactly what it was? I feel like it didn't know what it was, so... We assumed it was we... a goblin, as far as I can remember. Yeah, yeah, it was a kind of it was a goblin esque thing, and it it uh it it was it was kind of erratic. It gave us a bunch of free stuff, um, and then it headed off towards Glassfeld, and it refused to come with us. I mean, come on, we could have we could have adopted this this cute ass sidekick, but no. I really wanted to keep it. Had to go on a <laughs> on a journey of its own, didn't it? Because it had to go off and do its own thing, but that's fine. Um. So, we continued on our travels to the Ring of Iron, which is neither a ring nor made of iron. That you know um, of. That we know of. That's That true. you know of. That we know of. That I know are any, of. Are any of y'all military engineers? Didn't think so. <laughs> I can see circles. Uh, and uh, Moz kind of... Well, Gros kind of just got circles. us in. <laughs> <laughs> I see dead people! I see circles. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's um, like geometry. Yeah. So so we uh that's that's pretty much all we got to. Gross just got us through the gate and then we were like, cool, we're here now. Yep, and we met uh Yeah, you can have your free inspiration point, which yes, I'm sure you'll you. definitely remember to use this time. Oh hundred percent, yep. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So as you're passing through there, a um I have too many pages of notes. <laughs> hmm, is it characters, plot points, or locations? Oh wait, all of them. <laughs> all in the oh, same notes. Or just, just. You need to. God damn it. <laughs> all right. So as you're sort of like coming out of this, uh, like of this gatehouse, this checkpoint, uh, following a uh, Toran, this uh, like just bear of a dwarf, carrying a great axe, scars all over his body quite fat there's this uh, sort of portcullis like sort of like thing which you just see as just starting to be like you know pulled up as a result of you walking through it's fucking loud like metal grating against like mm. the portcullis like metal grating against metal could use some of the lubricant some oil yeah. maybe <laughs> you, got, you got the oil <laughs> Do you yeah. say that to them, or do you think it in your head? I'm thinking that I ain't okay. got no oils on me anyway, so I'm no engineer. I'm just I mean, thinking it. If anyone has a trap kit, they should have some oil. But that's not have... why we're here. No, we're, we're not, not the here to handyman. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> we're not here to fix that pot's colors. <laughs> it would probably right. take quite a bit of uh, oil. You probably got like a tiny, tiny bottle, <laughs> like a little, a little, a little bottle of oil. One drop will do the trick. <laughs> yeah, if you just put it on the exact right place, it'll. Yeah, yeah as the podcast opens, it re it opens to reveal this, about f like this significant plain about three, like three miles wide in either direction. To the far end, you see this just huge wall, like covering the entire, like the entire end of the valley, slightly, like co slightly curved, and it's a um. And it's, it's just like curved in its design. 
to the like north west to the northeast you do see this like large cluster of trees and like several tents outside of it but that pales in comparison to this just like these just several like tent cities on this plane almost you know just like milling of activity like an ant hive pales in comparison though to what you see to the south to the south which is this huge like four tiered city of like angular dwarven design each of which having like this housing like bigger and grander buildings than the last the second like the second layer just pours out smoke like this like this colossal furnace while the others they see you see just like huge towers and temples in the distance that'll be the forges then hey that's pretty cool over there well if you want so, arms or armor that's where you want to be at this point I toe and goes up to, to look at you oh yeah Quite impressive first time you see it, right? Not the ah, I remember I first it. being back here. Good dwarven engineering. Anyway, we are just not very natural looking. Well, no, it isn't. Well, it's made of stone. Stone is exceedingly natural. Not in this shape. Well. Anyway, the uh, company's parked just down there, and he uh, um, points to this uh, just you know tent, like another tent city. This one milling with dwarves mostly. See the old taller shape among them. So, you want to join us? Sure, we can drink some. I mean, any friend of uh, Goz is a friend of ours, so you're welcome to stay. You got you. any bread? Oh, I got more than bread, lad. Don't worry, Terramar. They got ale as well. Well, if that fucking clerk lets us get his food, but yeah. <laughs> I don't know why you don't. Was this problematic? Ah, bureaucrats. What's... It's just that. Like that, but with paperwork. Hmm. Well, we forgot to include those a um few barrels of alcohol on the manifest, and well, you know, bureaucrats. Uh, let's be honest. You've never traveled without. So why would you put it on the manifest? See, that's what I was saying. Look, a dwarven army travels with alcohol. That's just, it, it goes without saying. I mean, it, it a dwarven usually... army travels on alcohol. On <laughs> that, that's it. If you have traveled with this before and you have traveled many times with it, is it usually on the ah. manifest? Issues of the uh, quartermaster. Yeah, he's not going to enjoy no, that. No, I mean... Has it before been on the manifest? Uh, yeah, but we have to make a new one for every uh, every trip. It's uh, military regulations. Empire is very strict on them. Over from the old one. Imp uh... Look, I feel if we're going to be bitching about a bureaucracy, we could do it over some ale. So like a plan. Oh, um, have we? Have we? Have yes, we, please. Um, what's, what's the? What is the out of context explanation for there being no lock cart? Uh, look at I just like stay just like staying to the back and as you sort of says, it says uh yes oh uh, <clears throat> uh, yes I'm going to quite tied out from this I'm gonna go to the tavern and just uh rest if you don't mind it's so weird when you're doing an actual man's voice because I'm like why doesn't it sound like a small woman it's like can't do small one for a long period of time um I'd like to try and get Varric's attention. Okay. But like, kind of ask, like, get him to hang back from the others. Cool. Um. And then, oh, I don't know how to play this. <laughs> Is there a place that we can rest before we get to the tavern? Well, I mean, we were just going to the camp, so rest in there. You're fine to sit yeah. with us. I mean, where will we be sleeping? We got a few spare tents. If not, you can always go back. There's always a always taverns open in the uh, citadel. Okay. Um. Well. I would like to see to the horses before I join you then. Oh yeah, we've uh, got a small stable set up over there, and he points to where there's a uh, 
like several ponies just sort of tied up some like you know stumps there's like these uh te these um sort of like laborers just like like pulling about barrel like um like you know tubs of a um water for them You're, like the odd stable hand just like looking to the horses Varric, could you help me with a wagon? Mm, sure, I'm not very... I'm gonna just give him a pointed look! <laughs> <laughs> I see. Or should I throw an nudge insight test? <laughs> nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Wink, wink, say no more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, sure, I can help you with that. I'm gonna say you wouldn't need to roll for that, it sounds no, quite I, obvious. I want it to roll. <laughs> <laughs> And if he'd rolled a one, he could have just been like, I don't know what I'm doing. You're okay on your own. <laughs> nah, you got this. I'll just walk behind Tor in, into the camp. Yeah. So, uh, how's the Lord been, how's the Lord been treating you? Been all right. Been hanging about with a mercenary group. Didn't huh, really work noticed. out that well. Ah, see. And you have friends? Not really knowing what they've been up to before I met them, but, uh... Done some work in Glassfeld. Ah, oh, Glassfeld. It's more quiet town. Passed through there a few times on the march. Not so quiet now. Oh yeah, what happened? Uh, I don't know exactly, but something dark fell upon us. Ugh. Orcs and goblins. Ah, and... orcs and goblins, been and butter. Yeah, but these were different. Oh, different how? Strange marks. Never seen them before. Strange marks? Yes. He just looks aside. Tell you what, Chris. Um... I'll talk, we'll talk later about that. We might have some information you might find useful on these uh, dark marks. Yeah, Delabrook mentioned it. He yeah. didn't want to explain any more, but... Uh, no. Yeah, he's out of the picture for a while, at least, so he's, uh, well, quartermaster crap. Apparently they're pulling in more for the garrison in the ring, and, uh, well, apparently he hasn't seen the sun in weeks, which is pretty usual for him. Hmm. Back up with those old tricks, then, eh? Well... Not quite sure if he can do all the paperwork drunk, but well, wouldn't put it past him. I mean, if he can't do it sober, he can't do it drunk, so... Hmm. True. Well, I'd best get you in with the rest of the lads. I... I assume that you're uh, following for Mena. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, he heard the word ill, so... <laughs> yeah. I'm bread. Well, yeah, while you approach, uh... So, and in our uh, Varric, you start getting closer to the stables. Yeah, so I do actually want to go to the stables because I, I actually do want to mm -hmm. sort out the horses. Yeah. But um, once I, I feel like... Oh, it's it's uh, Stephen and... Stanley. Stanley. Stanley and Stephen. There you go. Okay. That's, that's what they called themselves. That's their names. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh... When I feel like, oh, are we all gonna? I assume we're gonna be out of earshot at some point. Yeah. Also, there's like the hostel and boss around the camp. It's like the, no one's really paying much attention to you. Okay, the phone is just ringing. Um, I'm not sure that I trust this barrel nonsense. I feel that Russ will not have any suspicion for these are his friends but to travel always with ale and then to one time forget to put them on the ledger seems odd it might be onto something but on the other hand there's probably a lot of things on the ledger or manifest so for catching one thing might happen every now and then I just have some suspicion. I'm not hugely fond of the military to begin with, but I would appreciate an extra set of eyes to look out for anything else that seems unusual. Understood. I'm gonna just sort out the horses. Yep, yeah, easily enough. I think your like conversation and high rolls would mean that they do trust you at this point. Yay. Yeah, that's just <laughs> a... 
Precisely. That. Exactly. But yeah, just, as, you, as you sort of tie them up, they like not only questions you as like they, they seem to assume that like you know what you're doing, even though it's a you know a tiefling and an elf and a dwarf cow. They just seem to like say, oh, they they hear they know what they're doing. It's all right. So like, it's, it's like not not long after you like tie the horses up, there's a um. It's just like a stable hand comes and places just another bowl of water at their, at their feet, and they just start lapping it up. Cool. Nice. Good thing. So should we head over and in investigate the barrels? Hmm. We... we could... maybe? If... do we have any idea where they're kept? Or where we can find them. Well, assuming that the clerk was uh, still near the gate, we might be able to ask him about the barrels, maybe, or try to figure out. We could retrace the steps. Okay. We could also recall they were all piled up on the wall of the gatehouse. We can also recall that they were we can also remember that they were piled up on the wall of the gatehouse. <laughs> True, but there's probably a lot of items there, so... We will need to find... Well, we cannot find the ledger because they are not on that. True. Oh, we can go investigate the place. Okay. Okay, yeah. yeah boys! The elf uh, and yeah. the tiefling on, on a journey. <laughs> Uh, this is gonna go great. Um, yeah, as you sort of a uh, as a guys, I just sort of like pay, like moving towards the camp. It's like you're this this section or the the forty third occupy quite uh, quite as as you can tell. That a um uh, Torin just looks at you and says, Ah, yeah, I don't have we training training sites just over there, and you uh you know pointing over to see a bunch of just small specks about half a mile away, just you know push ups exercises like weapon drills. You know. Who's Who's leading it? Oh, uh, 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 old man Moha. You're saying he's still alive? <laughs> yeah, apparently. That's amazing. What is he now? Like, well, 350, something like that? Yeah. Well, I Most don't know if age, I can, can count even... that far, but he probably can. Most people his age can't even, you know, can't even remember their own name, let alone how to swing a fucking axe. <laughs> he always could swing an axe. Well, you know. So, uh, about the, uh, black marks and he sort of looks over to you uh, to uh, Fomenu and sort of just gives you a look almost, yeah. as, if sort of, almost as if to say like, like, over to Graz like, almost as if to say that, like, you know, is, he, is he trusted or he was there you can talk right. well just before we got called down here by um, the emergency missive from the Empire well us and a few other regiments were setting in to try and uh, retake Cantorum all Dwarven Citadel fell during the war well, first few weeks were alright, just standard green skins, odd, 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 you know, abomination. Nothing major, nothing we haven't faced before, but a couple of weeks in, everything changed. But we need some more depressing music for this. <laughs> <laughs> a few weeks in, something changed. There was. Oh. They started guess. coming in greater numbers, just more ambushes, acting more intelligently. Stronger. Uh, stronger, faster. Harder to take down. Indeed. And all of them had the black mark you described. So it's not localized. There's something else going on. <sighs> Sorry, I haven't got any more knowledge other than that. We're not exactly a regiment of scholars. I understood. It's just weird. We came across it in the West. And... <sighs> They came from nowhere, basically. They were holed up in an old fort. In an old mine, I mean. Well, I mean, it's not uncommon for uh, smaller groups of uh, orcs, goblins, that, that and the like, be in those mountains, but, well... Nothing more than a small tribe, nothing bigger than that. Hang on, this is the wrong one. I'm trying to... Ah, there we go. Well, they've been holed up in Otto's Hold. Mm. That's Otto's Hold, from. Uh, he just sort of starts stroking his beard. Oh god, that's old, uh... 
That's a damn old place. What? Full of warnings as well. Uninhabited from what? Even before the fam even before the uh, like empire formed. How oh, before we unified? I could barely Christ. find out about what the writing was. It was mm. dwarven, but I guess old as fuck. Old as fuck indeed. Nah. Well, anyway, um, enough of that team and gloom. Are you a gayless of the like cunning stories of whatever the fuck you guys have been doing? Well, uh, well, some sort of fate of black. Then, then, then are and uh, from, then are and Varric. Meanwhile, in another part of the camp. <laughs> 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 Well, we've headed back towards yeah. where all these barrels are lined yep. up. Tons of barrels just lined up like around each other. Are there any pieces of paper or, you know, like uh, sheets to describe what is in None front that of you us? can see. Are there many people around? Um, there's this, uh, there's a clerk, there's a clerk you saw earlier, like, hurriedly running around, like, cataloging each item. Uh, just mumbling things like, oh, bloody dwarves, no respect for organization. Just, like, just sort of hurriedly going around, like, all the cr all the crates and just, like, marking down what they are and, and uh, whatever. Aside from that and the guys on the walls, nah, no one around that area. Do you think we would be able to convince this clerk that we're investigators? Or maybe they saw us come in. I love how you say investigators and immediately start sounding more Belgian. <laughs> 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 the little grasseurs, they are already working on the case. <laughs> well, we can always try. Uh, what would that be? That would be a. That would be a deception, as you are deception. not, in, as, you, as you are in fact not investigators. You're the rogue. <laughs> uh, can I see some of the barrels that might be just recently put in there, like on top of the pile in front of the? Yeah, you can. There's a, there's a, there's a fair few black barrels just knocking around. They seem to be. Most of them are marked with something that you can probably recognize as Dwarvish, if not speak it. But yeah, there's a fair few just knocking around. You can like point, you can notice a few of the more recently placed down ones. I will uh, slowly inch my way towards the barrels and start uh, investigating the barrels itself. Uh, make me a perception or investigation check. I'll go with... The perception. Oh uh, yeah, looking around, fairly standard barrels, the kind of thing you would transport ale or the like in. Uh, so, would you speak to Orvin say? No, didn't think so. So now you won't be able to uh, um, see that's, what they. That's funny because neither do I. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nenar of many languages doesn't speak this language. Look, a lot of the languages that I speak are either basically dead or very exclusive celestial <laughs> but so yeah. you can't really as you sort of looking at these bells you see uh, excuse me excuse me who are you it's the clerk the clerk is just looking at you with this gaze of a man who has a lot <laughs> less authority than he thinks he has uh is it the same person that we saw earlier <laughs> indeed <clears throat> Okay, um, uh, pardon me, uh, I, I saw you arguing with a dwarf earlier, uh, what was that about? Oh, they haven't been putting this, the, the, the ale on the manifest, it's complete does, disorganization, chaos, just can't stand it. Does this happen often? The dwarven regiments always, always carry, they never, never carry a manifest of ale on them, always, always say, oh, Expected, the dwarves always have ale. So they never put their ale on. Well, sometimes, but rare. It's funny that it is so important to them, and and yet not something that comes to their mind when they write these. 
Well, according to them, uh, like a dwarven army always ca always travels with alcohol, so you should always expect it and not even mention it. <sighs> just throws his hands up. Just you know, almost like just like just just like overcome by his just you know, incredibly like menial just like it just annoyance. Interesting that they say not even to mention it. Hmm. Uh. Have you ever thought that they might be smuggling something in, other than ale, of course? No. Have you ever checked <laughs> them? I can't say I have personally, but... Do you know where they are keeping these ale barrels? He points down to the barrels at both of your feet. Yay. <laughs> well, could we offer you a hand and help you investigate oh, this? Make me a diploma. Let me get not. No, it's not called diplomacy. This persuasion. Is it? persuasion check. Persuasion check with advantage. I'll say. Ooh. Uh, of, of course, if you're offering the help. Oh, we'd be happy to. Ah, oh, good. Hmm. Right. Well, we check the barrels. Investigate the barrels. Do you want okay. To Any perception or investigation. Oh, Natty, <laughs> Natty twenty. Okay, let's look at all the barrels. Each of them have like you know like a, a, a tap already like you know like pre punched in. And so you just you take a quick a um, let's go in between them quickly. You just have a quick tap of one like you can taste on the end of your finger. Tastes like various you know alcohols as far as you can tell, you know rum, whiskey, ale. Nothing seems out of the ordinary. If you do taste quite rough. Yeah, but they could have false bottoms with an amount of alcohol. Mm. I'm desperate that there's something <laughs> off about <laughs> that. Like, like, start tapping around. So, so to, you, you give this, this barrel, these barrels so much scrutiny. You spend like about an hour just looking for all of them, tapping each of them, listening to them, shaking them, then listening to them, <laughs> tasting each of them, like opening, like opening one up to peek in. <laughs> alcohol, just lots and lots of heavy alcohol. So how drunk are we after all this? <laughs> both, make, both make me constitution checks. Oh my goodness. Not I... not saves, just checks. Straight checks. <laughs> Despite the like... very significant amount of like drinking over the past you hour. A little bit. You're, you're a bit tipsy, maybe. Given you have basically spent the last hour like to, like tasting various very heavy vodkas and like you know whiskeys, and mixing your drinks. Yeah. <laughs> There's that. There's that. Okay. <laughs> so you're a little bit tipsy. Well, it, uh, Varric will go to the clerk, and it would appear that there was uh, some of the barrels did not have. Ale, but alcohol was in, I think, all of them. Uh, looking at the guy, he is swaying. Yes, yes, I, I realize. <laughs> Often alcohol is very strong, isn't it? Well, yes, you think this is the ale? I don't think this that, is. That was just more, more than, than just ale. Yeah. I'm this gonna go sit down. why they're lying. I may be. Question for I... Kazoo Did you yeah. actually also make a constitution check for the clerk? What kind of DM do you think? Oh, of course, I fucking did. <laughs> he 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 physically is unable to make the check. <laughs> oh. oh my god! Or to stay completely sober. Oh boy! He just staggers off a bit. I'm gonna go sit down. Just yes. Okay. Oh. You're now standing in a field, a little bit drunk. <laughs> I think I need I think... something to eat. I'm perhaps too suspicious of the military. That could be. It's okay. Let's go and get some food. Okay, where are you going? Uh, the only place that we know of is the tavern, no? This is the place yeah. that we were supposed to go to before. Well, so it's a military camp, so... I have no idea then. I'm just gonna sort of follow Varric. <laughs> Varric, where are you going? Well, I'll try to find... Are you, you, are you apparently the designated driver? <laughs> You're designated driver. Uh, I'll 
try to find something that looks like a tavern or something like that that would have food. If I cannot do that, then I'll just find some sort of uh, camp with people eating. This out. is uh, it's an empty field mostly, like for terms of like, long-term buildings, so about three miles until like the walls or this big fuck off citadel. However, you do manage to find your way back to the camp around the same time, uh, Graz, after regaling your stories of uh, stuff to a um, Toran. A, a, um, you notice the black specks start marching towards like you in a sort of fast jog almost. Around this time, Ninar and uh, Varric slip into like the camp, staggering a little bit. <laughs> Just staring like... You want more drinks or are you good there? <laughs> uh, food would be nice. We are here for some dinner. Ah, good news. Um... I will say that we are cooking very soon, so if you can just uh, hold on for a minute, that'd be fantastic. Meet with the rest of the lads and the lasses. Okay, I'm just gonna sit down. Mm -hmm. Wherever I am, I, it might okay. be on the floor. I will just uh, pass well, on there for me. There are several benches all, all around the. Uh, um... But was I next to one when he answered me? Can you tell me. I'll sit down in front of a bench. Okay, you sit in front of a bench, like sort of in the general area of Graz. Yeah. I'll just uh, get on my knees for a moment and uh, inform Ver Varric and Nina that there uh, have been sightings of the same black mark to the east. And in growing numbers. Can I they just go for a walk? They they can been... go for a walk. I'd, I'd like to just take a stroll around the camp just to get familiar with like the layout of everything. Yeah, it's a pretty. You haven't been in a lot of military camps, but it's, you know. I suppose you have a MS Paint drawing of the layout of the camp. I do not. Oh. <laughs> then what Stop. were you preparing? You will see. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. It started yeah. out with more goblins and orcs, but it turned out later on the mark came, came up more and more. Mm, that is the same problems. Uh, Stronger, uh, faster, more intelligent. Graz, as you're sitting there, make me a perception check. Well, I now actually have proficiency in that, thankfully. Can still roll a natty one, of course. No, nope. you can only. Okay, as you're sort of forgetting the story, you hear what sounds like a dum 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 of someone like like running towards you from from like the rest of the group. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna look uh, look behind me. <laughs> Like charging towards you a lot closer than you thought you were. Uh, your, your old friend, Tan the Bear. Oh this my just god. Huge dwarven woman. This is a Gross, you bastard! And just jumps at you. I brace myself. <laughs> yeah. Let me an athletics check. Okay. I'll uh, see if I can lift her while we do that. Yep. I'm just gonna lift her up, swing well, her around, first... and put her down. <laughs> Okay, you brace yourself. You're like, you know, I'm a strong guy. I can deal with this. You are just hit and knocked clean over. Jesus I'm Christ! Just like... Eight in athletics. Um, <laughs> she's a very strong woman. I mean, yes, yeah, she is. But the rest of you, you just see this like you know, incredibly burly, like like you know, dwarf woman with this, like you know, five o'clock shadow, like with long braided hair, just like slam into Gros and knock him clean to the ground. How have you been, Tarn? <laughs> oh, I've been fantastic. How have you been, you old bastard? So he gives you this just bear hug, which, despite your years of training, still hurts a lot. Nothing much changes here, does it? Well, you know, gotta stay fit somehow. Tarn, I'm gonna can... sort of lean over to uh, Varric. Is this who he has been mailing? I have no idea. Did you say mailing or nailing? I said mailing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I don't know. Let me just quickly start and write an email. Don't mind. <laughs> you got mail. Eventually just torn. says, ah, oh, yeah, get off him. Bastard's been walking for days. Doesn't need your fat ass on his face. Just pulls the came off. Cart, thankfully, but... Oh, you're going soft, because... Uh... Hard march, that's what you need been hard enough for us yeah at this point just the rest of the dwarves catch up to you and like you know a lot of them just sort of come by say hello just like shaking your hand just you know patting you on the shoulder uh no 
notably this uh but I mean, this straight stranger among this like this tall like like you know quite like like half orc gentleman amongst them Arakum, how you doing man Gross. good to see you and he sort of like clasps your hand gives it a good like you know strong handshake same to you it's been long. how's the uh, how's the road treating you up and down that's good that's mostly good. up nowadays hmm well, good seeing you here, no matter what. Been holding yourself? Well, you know, as you do. Training the troops, I guess. Well, someone's got to whip him into shape. Yep, even old man well. can't do that alone. Old man can barely lift the whip anymore. Can't lift anything but an axe. <laughs> well, he always had a harder, heavier whip than he had an axe. Yeah. They just uh, looks to the rest of you. And this will be the people you're traveling with? They are indeed. Ah. He just gives us like a sort of low bow. I'm a... Uh, a Marku. He just gives... He sort of like, like, like holds a hand out to any of you in range. I'm just going to look at the hand. Well, that, it's a half hook, quite gnarled. Yeah, I'm not even here. I'm like, I'm yeah, I'm going to look yep. at the hand. I'm not going to touch him. He doesn't seem to take any offense and just sort of nods and looks back. So, uh, if you're here, I take it you're here for mercenary work, maybe? There's hardly any shortage of it. Oh, hang on. Oh, yeah, you've, uh, you've gone, Muzz. Yeah, I know. Everybody else has gone for me, so I'll just reconnect. Hmm. That works for me. Hmm. At this point, you just... You just... You just hear a... Like this... Like, a, like this... Like another small little just bumps into your into your sort of side. Oh, guys. Hello. And again, it's your old man, Mo Mohar. Mohar, how Looking are you doing? even older than usual. <laughs> also slightly smaller again, I guess. Uh, oh, God, it's good to see you. He sort of shakes your hand. Did you shrink another inch, old man? Well, I haven't got many left at this point. Either well, way. He sort of laughs at his own joke. <laughs> this well, is what brings you here? Him. Well... I got a message from Delabrook that he knew a little bit more about what we encountered in the West. Ah, uh, yes, we've been told. Uh, Delabrook is, um, buried under paperwork in the, uh, Citadel. Literally. So I heard. He's gonna well, enjoy that. Uh, he's probably drunk the entire time. Couldn't there blame him for that either. He just uh, offers a handout to all of you. Hello, I'm Amorha. This is the man who whipped me into shape. <laughs> he's a dwarf, right? He's yeah, a, he's yes, a he's a very wizened old dwarf. Was using his oh. like great axe as a bit of a like a walking stick. Cautiously touch his hand. It just shakes it, so I'm not paying I'm... a huge amount of mind. Okay, I'm just <laughs> touch it. <laughs> just poke it very carefully. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, well, so I take it you're here for mercenary work, or oh, unless you're back to roll with us for a bit. No. There was work here, and I wanted to speak to Dalabrook, but he's too busy right now. Uh, you know, Dalabrook, either drunk or working, or both, more likely often than not. Torin informed me, though. Uh, I'm yes. uh, aware of what's happening. I'm going to go sit down. You know how it is. Old bones. Yeah, you better sit down. Yes, yes. He just goes off, well to, break like, something. off into a corner. <laughs> sort of, uh, cross, and like, sort of this at the back of this group of people, like, no, like shaking your hand. There's a... Uh, this, other dwarf just standing in the corner, just giving you evils. You recognize him again as Degun. He uh, just gives shoots like this evil glare at you. Just spits at the ground and walks off. I just stare back and ignore him. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, Torn comes over. Yeah, unfortunately, of the several like, lost in the past few years, he wasn't one of them. That is a damn shame. Well, nothing can't much you can do about, about it. it. Yep. Could kill him. So is that. Uh, nah, bad for morale. Indeed. Well, it is Degun. Probably good for morale, to be honest. Well, if he pulls a str if he pulls something, I'm gonna pull my axe out. <laughs> see I'd pay to see that. You and probably a lot of people. You're in the whole fucking camp. Anyway, <laughs> at this point, the uh, um, the, at this point, like, it's like several just sort of you know laborers and like and, um. Soldiers are starting to like serve like various foods all over the place. Standard dwarven fare, like hearty, good, like you know, 
but steaks, meat pies, you know. I'd like to come back from my walk now. Views. Yeah, you come back. <laughs> <laughs> he smells it. At this point, several of the barrels that some of you were experiencing like a while ago are just starting being like, you know, pulled over, set down, put on the table and just being poured out. Varric, Nana, would you like a drink? Come on. Sure, oh, I'll take it out. Okay, can I like go and get get a couple of? Yeah, pretty easily. All right. I'm gonna right. grab my my uh, tankard out of my uh, backpack and uh, grab and go surf myself as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just start pouring yourself fails. There's foods all over the place. Should someone want them? Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. <laughs> and definitely get some food. <laughs> yeah, you. It's. No one like really like like objects to any of you. You're like your presence is all you're like taking food there. They, they've seen you with with uh, Gruz at some point, so you know, a few of them like you know sort of quite politely like you know like give you like nods of like acknowledgement or whatever. Most just focus on the on the alcohol and the food. Yes, they do. Mm. These men are known for two things: fighting and drinking. Hmm. And I yeah. can't decide which one they're better at. We have, we have discovered this, yes. <laughs> but yeah, the table's pulled over a um, just uh, Tor and uh, Arakum, uh, Tan and uh, Old and uh, Mohan just start to sit down, start like pulling out more chairs for you guys. So, uh, Gruz is a little band of idiots. What have you been doing these uh, past? How's he been doing? Band of Idiots. Well, you're on, you're on with him. Kind of goes to the territory. This I'm going to give a very, right? a very accusatory look at Graz. I'm just going to be like, yeah. Don't mind, me? don't mind Torin. He's as stupid as he looks. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. Almost. <laughs> well, you know. If I looked as stupid as I, if I was as stupid as I looked, I'd be dead. As opposed to mostly dead. This is true. We have not Welcome to sit with us if you want. Far together, but would we? But we have seen much death. Uh, who hasn't? We've also noticed death arising. We also killed a lot of people, but that's not important. <laughs> <laughs> I assume you didn't actually say that out loud. Or... No, that's why I said it in my voice. You stage whispered it. Yeah. <laughs> Kill them and take their money. <laughs> if Me they're already they... dead, what's the harm in looting them? <laughs> God damn it. Every RPG ever. That's alright, they've, they've got 15 cautionary pamphlets and we might need them one day. <laughs> Yeah, they begin setting down, pouring themselves drinks, and just uh, talking amongst themselves. I'm gonna keep an eye out to see where Dagon is hiding. He's just sitting on a table, like, not by himself, with a few others who aren't talking and just sort of a, uh, sipping their drinks, eating a bit. She's still glaring at us, every one of uh, us. He, he notices a, uh, he notices a youth, glares back, and this is the guy just, like, see us sitting with and just gives you a disgusted look. Just goes around to his It's well, if, I'd say it's, he's not hiding it. So yeah. Hey, hey, Grass, who, who's that guy? That's Dagon. He hates everything that is not dwarven. See? Even though he's fighting with others. What the count? Can't he just enjoy his drink? Nope. He will always be like this. Unfortunately, he's also a very good fighter. So that's why they keep him on. I uh, can't, can't, can't quite figure out who's more unfortunate because of that. The enemy or us? If it was worse, he'd be dead. Yeah. He's also got some other problems, but. Uh... <sighs> so like most of the terrorists gives a hearty laugh at that. They call so, uh, them stoneless for a reason. Sure. Let's just leave it at that. 
I must have done it with a needle. I haven't been good at any point. Anyway, yeah, the rest of you. Who are you? How'd you pick up this? Sorry, idiot. By accident. That sounds about right. Same with us. Hey, me mind me Da were good fighters as well. Eh. Well, yeah. Just, um, Mohara specifically looks a little... Even older in his sort of chair as he, as you, as he looks at that. Just sips his drink again quietly. We were all contacted by the local people of Glassfeld to help them to deal with some problems that they were having. I just did it for the money. <laughs> hey, Demonor, why don't you go and offer some of your bread to this angry dwarf? It might make him more friendly. I will do that. Alright, I'll see you guys soon. <laughs> Thank god I made stats for this guy. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna bet five coppers then that dwarf is gonna punch Temenor. You're on. <laughs> oh, no, I'm just the uh, the, the, the uh, dwarf one just laughs. Says, huh, you think I'd bet against that? <laughs> yes, begin eyeing at what you're doing. For many, you go over to this just dwarf sitting in the corner. He refuses, to pay, he refuses to pay you like any attention at all. I'm gonna just like stick my bread out in front of him and see if he reacts. <laughs> what the fuck do you want, point here? What? I, 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 he doesn't have any. I ears. don't have ears. <laughs> Ah, but he's a racist. Uh, uh, I'm going to be baffled by this. <laughs> yeah, uh, you're still, you're still recognisable as an elf, though. Yeah, but I'm going to be surprised that he said pointy here, because, you know, isolation. He just goes back to his drink. I, I'm going to throw a piece of bread at him. <laughs> Does it land in the drink? <laughs> Make me a... Maybe just a, a standard dexterity check. <laughs> Uh, it lands on his table, but not on the like clinks off his mug. Says, "Do you want a fucking fight?" No, I just want to offer you bread. We're all friends here. Despite uh, how close about my ears. How close are you to him? Uh, far enough to. I uh, close, close, quite close. I'm, I'm going to say two meters away. We are not friends. Don't even know you. Don't want to know you. Well, I mean, what are strangers but friends not yet made, am I right? <laughs> Fuck this. He just turns around and throws his, his metal tankard straight at you. Aha! No! Fuck you! I've got a reaction to deflect missiles! <laughs> I want to take it! <laughs> oh you want, want a 17? <laughs> Uh, how do how do I do the? Uh, it's, it's, I think uh, it's um. A dexterity modifier plus. Okay, so hold on. I need to. I need to roll his damage first. See how much you're rolling against. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. So I need to roll a one d ten plus my dexterity modifier and my monk level. Yep. We didn't roll very high. So it'd be quite easy. What's my dexterity modifier? Four, and my monk level is three. Hope this is right. Even on a one, you might just definitely catch this like clumsily thrown mug in your just in your offhand. With a net one, Jesus. <laughs> he he, he, well, he rolled he rolled like he rolled, he did took he did five points of damage had it hit him. So and and, and, and so like how how monks deflect how monks are catch hours ability deflect missiles ability works is that you. Take that damage off the off the off the attack, basically. Oh. However, because he's got into minus, the attack does nothing. Uh, once we see that uh, Varak will turn to cross, and, well, that's technically not a punch, but should we call it a draw? <laughs> Let's see what happens next. At this I point, I, 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 I'm gonna stand up though and leave this, my axe. At, at this point, Tarn just laughs and says, <laughs> "Nice catch." <laughs> They're gonna make Wait, who free? said? Who said that? Ah, uh, Tarn. Tarn. I don't know what their names are. Tarn the uh, bear is the one who bear the, the, Yeah, the really tall, the really tall, like, sort of incredibly strong dwarven woman. Yeah. 
So he threw a mug at me, correct? Yeah. So he just, he's um, looking. He's looking at you, and just looking at all the all the dwarves who is eyeing him, looking like, oh wait, I've fucked up here. After a few seconds, he everyone just starts laughing. It's like can't even start a bar fight, you stormless prick. I, t I tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put the mug back on the table, and I'm gonna s extend my uh, my hand for handshake. I just lost Kazoo. Yeah, Kazoo. I also yeah. lost oh. Kazoo. I Rip haven't. Oh yeah, hang on. You've got. You, you're going into like quite close to him, right? Uh, yeah, basically. Well, I, to... <laughs> I, I'm trying to avoid a punch, so I'm just gonna like extend, sort of chill with my body a bit further back. He he surges forward for a punch. Right. Oh, oh my <laughs> god! Do so I dodge it? Uh, that is a fifteen. Uh, he misses. Yeah, you that you just duck under, or like you just duck aside from the punch. He's like. So he just duck aside from the punch completely. I'm right. gonna say roll, well, roll initiative for just uh, don't don't like roll initiative from the other character. Just roll, add it so that because I'm assuming it's just those two in the fight right now. Oh, I'm I'm standing. <laughs> I'm watching this. Wait, it, I mean it's <clears> like a no weapons fight. No, I'm carrying my staff with me. Always. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't have a weapon on him though. <laughs> Okay, he goes first. Hang on, my music has stopped. We'll get some uh, menial like action music then. I'm gonna prepare, I think, a uh, an animal just in case. <laughs> okay, the uh, um, it's his turn again because he rolled. Oh, he rolled well. Oh, give me a sec. Okay, the music is just actually quite quiet. Not it says it's there, just very quiet. Oh, so I need to turn my uh, crumb up. Yeah. Okay, he makes another. He just sort of makes another. He makes another attack at you. All right. Oh, that is a nineteen. He hits. Okay, so this deals three. Uh, six, one. six points of damage. Holy shit! With just his fists. Well, it's non-lethal, so. Okay. So basically, you, you could you know, so basically when you go down from. Non it will you, but you don't you don't you don't need to make death saving for it. You're just unconscious. Oh, okay, I see, I see. Yeah. Uh, your turn. All right. Well, I'm gonna hit him up with a, with a, just a classic quarter stuff hit. Yeah. That definitely okay. hits. <laughs> Are you non lethal yeah. though? I'm, I'm annoyed. I'm not gonna want to kill him, but I'm annoyed, so I'm definitely gonna hit him. Try to hit him non lethally. Okay. Right. Yeah. I uh, yeah. pay Z five uh, copper. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll just yeah, take you... a drink of my mug. Uh... <laughs> yeah, you just a um, like just sort of like a, you just like manage to throw you like your score stuff up from your, up your side. Hit him square in the nose. You feel him just crunch underneath underneath the the uh, quarter staff and blood just splatter across across the floor. Right. I'm not going to hit him. Just try to like fucking kick him. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, that definitely hits. Oh my I pay Satan another not five he. copper. <laughs> yeah, that you just like you, you just get kicking him one knee goes onto one knee. Oh my! Um, I think I'm gonna end my turn. <laughs> right, he 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 just suddenly like, reeling from this onslaught, just looks back at you, looking angrier than before, and goes for another punch. That that's a thirteen. Miss. Yeah. There's, He's just stumbling, his legs fit fucked up, he's like, it's a bit of head trauma. I'm gonna hit him again. Oh, that's a miss. That's a miss, unfortunately. This time he, he sees it coming, ducks underneath it. That is a hit. Yep, you again just give another, another sort of kick and another to its side. And another five coppers to Zaid. <laughs> oh my god. So that's 15 already? At this oh, point, yeah. like, the entire, like, you know, camp is cheering. Cheering for me, yeah? Yeah. So, oh, yeah. Go on, you weird elf guy. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone actually know who he is? It's a gross, right? Oh. Okay, he's going to try and make another attack. Even worse, an eight. <laughs> he he's is just struggling stumbling. on the floor, huh? He's just stumbling. Aww. You miss, unfortunately. Oh, oh yeah, you have. <laughs> Another five coppers to say. <laughs> well, the last one, you just give this fucking this this just uppercut to his like jaw, and you feel something crack as you punch up. And he just like hit with that, you hear him just like cry out in pain, and he hits the floor. 
just barely conscious and like blood pouring from several points. I was just cheering from around the camp. <laughs> I feel... You are you are swept up in just a tide of dwarves offering you drinks. Please I throw bread at him. What... Please throw bread at him. <laughs> I flip a silver. I am going to, to Ferric, exclaim like bread. A... I am going to exclaim bread, 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 <laughs> and, I mean, bread. and bread. <laughs> But you have just it forced into your hands at this point. You have I, like <laughs> I'd like to you, eat and drink and just enjoy myself. They are like carrying you at this point. They're not, not very high because they are dwarves and but like it's like we like to drink with what's your name, mate? <laughs> I'm Femino. Femino <laughs> They just they're just like cheering your name and just offering you drinks here and there. Oh. Oh, wow. I just back back at the a uh, um Back at like on your table, a eh? um, on your table, Tar like Tarn and uh, Torn just cannot contain themselves. They're just laughing like hell. <laughs> oh, I wish I could. Oh, I wish I'd done that first. I just oh. pass. I just pass uh, Varric a silver coin, like worth every second. <laughs> <laughs> Thank oh. you. <laughs> I'll take a bet like that. <laughs> Quick little bastard, well, quick big bastard, isn't he? Yeah. Oh yeah, he's done some damage. <laughs> I can see. Not if this was a time. fight, he'd be so dead right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh no, I rolled three, I rolled four nat 20s. Is he just on the floor? He is just on the floor, like, shell-shocked. <laughs> like, this really thin, like, you know, tall, unarmed elf just beat the shit out of him. <laughs> um... I Okay, I I'm gonna go and and cast healing word on him. Yeah, he he, he feels that you he's still too stressed to really realize what's happening, but a few of his wounds start to like clip no, you close up a bit. Roll it. You, you roll it, yeah, but Because I might do terribly, you know, like cast, you know, roll a one. Yeah, yeah, a few of his wounds, but he's still quite beat up and still quite shell shocked. Yeah, I, I did. He has just been le left behind in this just tide of dwarves buying Kamino drinks. At which point, uh, Marjack, make me a constitution check. Mm -hmm. To survive, check, we'll uh, uh, check. To survive the um, dwarven <laughs> death march drinking. <laughs> oh boy, I'll be good. Well, you say that. <laughs> oh really? You're one off the DC to stay soberish. Oh, okay, well I mean, you'll get you on the way to be sober. Yeah, you are on the way to getting quite drunk. Also, keep in mind, Tamino doesn't want to be sober. Yeah, that's exactly. Yeah, he's, he's I, was, not... I was gonna, I was gonna. You say can't that when choose I... to fail a save. Oh, when when I was healing him, I was just gonna be like, maybe you should not consider yourself above other races. He just spits blood into your face and just stumbles off in the court. In he the... tries. I don't. I'm not getting. I'm gonna not okay, be that right. close to his face. I, I'm well, touching you... his ankle. I don't want to be near to him. He, he just he, he rears up and just spits blood into your face. Wow! I just I'm stumbles slap off. Him. I would like to slap him in the face. <laughs> Make Three me an attack. <laughs> <laughs> no it's, mercy. It's no just survivors. Like, it's I thought like I was an airplane. We're just one. taking one after another. I mean, it just make me a. Um... How do I roll an unarmed? Uh, just draw me a d20 and add your strength. Okay. I don't have any extra strength, so. I just roll your d20. Just cl you, 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 the sort of the, the blood's in your eye, but you try and swing for something, but it just goes wide. And by the time you clear it out of your face, he's staggered off to parts unknown. He's. He's on the floor. <laughs> I. How do I miss him? You roll an eight. <laughs> <laughs> you slept the ground. <laughs> okay. Now I'm just angry. <laughs> I'm gonna go true. find a quiet corner with a tree, please. Uh, there's no trees for a while around. You see about. I'm gonna That's... walk until I find one. About a mile and a half away, there is a big a copse of trees and a few tents around it. 
Like a small forest almost. Yes, I'd like to go there, please. Okay, we'll deal with that in a, in a minute. But yeah, I was just sort of just sitting around the table. You see Nana, Nana just walking off angrily. Wait, can I spot this as well? That's a uh, perception check. Because you are currently uh, like otherwise engaged. <laughs> Yeah, you see us storming off. You do realize when we get in fucking battle, I'm going to be destroyed. Yep. Yeah, you've used all your good luck in a, basically a tavern fight. Yeah, well. Worth. 40 20s. 20. 4 nat 20s. All right, well, if I spot this, then before she leaves, I'm going to see if we can get a loaf and just, like, chuck it to I'm going to scream, Nenar! And throw a uh, loaf of bread at you. For good luck! <laughs> Do I have to roll something on catch, or can I just catch it? I'm going to say you can probably catch it. You've, you've had warning. <laughs> nice. You're going to keep going? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm okay. still angry. I just I have bread now. I'm angry with bread. <laughs> can you truly be angry with bread? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Philosophical yes. questions, one on one. <laughs> yes, I can. <laughs> yeah, it's the rest of the drawers are just a... Um, oh. But not go the way she's going right now. She's angry. We might as well let her go for a bit. I meant more specifically where it looks like she's going. How's that? Well, you see, that's where the high, that's where the high elves camp. And if you thought that some dwarves were a bit, you know, um, xenophobic, oh, we haven't seen fucking anything yet. <laughs> I'm gonna get up and start storming after the arts. <laughs> Because that's, uh, that's a group of people I've met before. <laughs> All right, we'll follow. Yeah. I'm going to say, yeah, I'm going to say uh, the Varric and uh, know that, like, sort of, there's a bit of, a, like, a cultural divide between elves that live in, like, the cities and elves that live in, like, you know, the elven cities deep in the woods, and that, like, the ones that live in, you know, the uh, elven cities tend to view them a lot, quite xenophobic and, you know, pr like, you know, proud. And quite disparaging of elves who choose to live among humans and other races. Mm -hmm. Who did you say knows this? Because I uh, you got uh, it for me. Uh, for Menno and Varric, the two elves. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I might not be a what? good place for her. I don't even know they exist. I'm too busy celebrating. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> Why is there a encampment of them with the dwarves if they're not even friends? Well, a mile and a half away tells you enough. <laughs> So, how soon before we catch up? I say you can catch up pretty quickly if you like are making an effort to. You may not want to go there. Those are high elves, and if you think that dwarf was bad, they're worse because they they're all have like that. The monopoly on trees. I agree. They are elves. But they do. I mean, in this valley, there's not a lot of most of the ground is cleared. That's, no... that's why I'm going to this small bit of trees, you know? Well, you see, uh, wolves are racist against other races. Uh, the high elves are racist even against other elves. So... They're like northerners. <laughs> <laughs> you know some of my family is northern. I live in the north. really nice. I live in the north. What? <laughs> You live in the Midlands. Ah, oh, fuck off. <laughs> <sighs> fuck off, you're... I won't be told by a southerner where the I'm north starts. Wrong. I'm not wrong. I won't be, start by a, I won't be told by a southerner where the, where the north starts. <laughs> anyway, back, to, back, from real, back from real racism to fantasy racism. <laughs> <laughs> Regardless, I'm gonna keep following her because I... <laughs> kind of have a feeling what will be going on otherwise. <laughs> I don't understand why we can't just. I look, they by the trees. They're not in the trees. They are, are they? in the trees, though. Like as you get closer, they're camp on like sort of this, like in this copse of woodland. Well, it's more of a, it's a small woodland, really. But you know, so you can see there's tents coming out of all angles, as far as you can see. You do not want to mingle with them. At least not without an escape plan. Indeed. Or some friends. 
this not the escape route to run away I could say maybe they have changed but me knowing high elves <laughs> they haven't have I ever encountered a high elf before probably and you would also corroborate this I'm kind of paused. I'm just standing like between the two camps right now in the, in the middle of the field. Just, just think I'm angry and I wanted to storm off, but now I'm like, no, I can't. But I don't want to go back. So it's a choice between one bad apple and a cart of dung. Or cyanide. Okay. I have an idea. I have a sneaky little idea. Go, go, do a meanwhile on Themenor for a second. Do a little uh, for Menor. Constitution yeah. check. <laughs> I, I... <laughs> yeah, you're getting quite drunk at this point. Alright, well, I think I'm just gonna have a have a sit down, maybe a chat with some of uh, Muzz's friends, you know, talk yeah. about his past life. Yeah, the um, it's for this uh, this uh, this tall woman you saw earlier. I said, ah, I'm telling the bear. That was a very impressive what you did with a uh, old old stoneless over there. <laughs> You wanted to do that for years. Yeah, you know, your you're pretty big. I get that a lot. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> you just sort of laughs into a tankard. I think I'm gonna take like a quick ten minute meditation to calm, my, calm myself. Yeah, you stumble off to the yeah, to the. Excited. Pardon? <laughs> I'm just, you know, are you a bit excited? Maybe. Yeah, you can but stumble yeah. off like, in the corners to meditate for a bit. You're still very drunk, but... Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, yeah. sounds good. Can we can we rotate back? Okay, <laughs> rotating back. This... So the three, the three guys standing in a field. This thing that you've sent me, that's got all the different wild shape things, it, I, it, it I doesn't have enough. I need more. <laughs> that's every animal in D&D. <laughs> I don't think that it's every animal, though. And I need more of the animals. Okay, tell me an animal, then, that you want to turn into, and I'll make it up. <laughs> I okay. I might because be able fuck to it, we'll do it live. <laughs> a fly, a squirrel. <laughs> They're both really good suggestions. I was thinking of a a good sized bird, but I'm now I'm like I don't know. Maybe I wanted to be a bigger bird. Moltres. I could be a giant eagle, but I don't want to be like a giant giant eagle. You know, I want to be like a pigeon. <laughs> no. Like a crow. Okay. Please. You can turn yourself into a crow. Yes. Can she fly yet? Oh no, you can't actually. You oh, haven't got the no, high I enough level to make her to be a flying crow. creature. Yeah. I forgot. For God's sake, why are things hard? Sorry. <laughs> why you done this? Now I'm to have to think again. Why not just a bird that can't fly? Just be an ostrich. <laughs> an ostrich runs into a pretty... That's not... the woods. That's not <laughs> An ostrich runs into a temperate woodland. <laughs> if I if I was and like then a probably beetle, filled with arrows. Could uh... I could I like do a small flying as a beetle? I'd say you I'd say I wouldn't say I'd say you could be a non flying beetle, which was I presume exists. Okay, so I couldn't I couldn't be like a wasp and then and then No, like that has a flight speed. Then... It... Okay. <laughs> How about a sprite? Okay. They how still about fly. Just like oh, a oh yeah. Animal. Penguin. Small mammals. <laughs> a native to the area. <laughs> uh. You're the druid. Don't look at me. Okay. And if I were to do a nature check. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you could you could figure out as a druid you would know innately what's like native. Oh to my the god! Of... You're putting this on me in a world that I didn't even make. Jesus. Okay. Uh, well, okay. I right. So you know, you... can I? I could tell. I could tell you that they they have blooming bandicoots. Longer the... that far. 
Like anything that basically lives in a temperate wood in a temperate area, like you know, it can be found here, basically. Badger, squirrel, bunny, hedgehog. Something that climbs, so probably a squirrel. Wildcat. Sea cucumber. No, I want to be small enough to be kind of un, un, un unintruding. A rat. No, I want to climb up the tree. So a squirrel. Oh, rats can climb up trees. I yeah. know they can, but also you'd notice a massive rat on a tree. Fair. Or you turn into a small rat. You'd still notice it more than maybe a squirrel. Like a squirrel is a normal thing to be on a tree. Hmm. Well, then turn into a squirrel. Job done. I'm a squirrel now, thanks. Cool. Okay. And now in the middle of this argument, just suddenly turns into a squirrel <laughs> and just goes, goes off. <laughs> What's the what's the average lancy to scroll? I'm gonna I'm gonna find out quickly. Yes, please do because uh, it ain't here. <laughs> I just look at Varric like, okay, I'm going about, back to the party. Uh, I can <laughs> about okay. twenty miles an hour, which is impressive. Okay, so if you're full if you're full out sprinting, you can pro if you go full out sprinting, you would probably. Uh, Get there in, a, in about five ten minutes. Really? Well, there is like the odd bit of you know obstruction. That's how far away we were. A mile and a half. Could have turned a bit earlier. <laughs> no, it's a later. Sorry. Yeah, but I don't want them to see me coming. Just get across to throw you. Sorry, I'm not here. I can't make. It. <laughs> no, no, no. no. Just... I just saw. <laughs> <cool. laughs> yeah, the elves will figure out. The elves will, will think nothing is weird. Just gliding flying. as flying, you know. If I was like a, a, a one of those monkeys that can that, like glide, and then he threw me just... in the air, and I just sort of floated down. A flying squirrel. <laughs> nah, no fly speeds. <laughs> it's a gl flying squirrels float. They don't fly. Yeah, uh... they can't fly. They physically can't. Well, you're you're, you're a squirrel. Stop I'm it! A I'm a squirrel. <laughs> okay, you get you get there and just perch in a tree for a bit. Yeah. <laughs> you, have, you have 45 minutes of wild shape left. Yeah, so I'm gonna perch in a tree for about. Wait, f you said five minutes. Why have I only got 45 minutes? I've got an I said, hour. I said okay. five ten minutes, and then fucked up my math, so you got 50 minutes. So you got 30 minutes to sit in the tree. Yeah, basically. I've got 30 minutes to sit in the tree. Now you can sit in the tree for about 30 minutes. Enjoy the environment. I'm going to enjoy the noises. I'm going to enjoy... It's mostly the... owls talking. Yeah, I don't speak elvish, so... Come they're just... to me. And the nuts. <laughs> There's also just, you know, woodland, like woodland creatures around a lot. Yes. It's going to enjoy a nice... Calming... Quite peaceful. Calming, peaceful, monk, half an hour. Thing. Okay. No, I mean, thankfully, no, no one in the camp is feeling hungry for squirrel at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Come hiding up me. on a tree, like... Elves! They see shit! Go, go back <laughs> to... What do your elf I see? <laughs> a squirrel! <laughs> eh, not, don't, not for fancy... For That's fucking today. antlers! <laughs> a tiny backpack. Antlers, a tiny antlers on a tiny squirrel. Does it got a fucking backpack? Maybe. Squirrel with a backpack. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right, okay. back in camp, back in, in in team standing in a field. No, I I, I just saw her move off. Yeah. So I, I just turned around and just went back to my tankers and refilled. Uh, is there any stone or anything like that nearby? Um, there's the odd bit of stone, like stone here and there, but it's mostly a cleared out, like a, a fairly flat, like grassland. Sorry, I just read Ashton's a mini giant eagle, <laughs> aka an eagle. <laughs> Which I'm describing there as an eagle. <laughs> You're not uh, wrong. Good right, job. We'll head to the camp as well. Back to okay, the camp. Give me a sec. <laughs> Okay, yeah, you come back and they, um... Uh, as you come back, you notice that apparently they've got on board of just, you know, drinking. And you see like, what's really, like, a small table and on it, uh, uh, Tarn and another dwarf just arm wrestling. <laughs> not, after not long, Tarn just knocks the guy clean on his ass. Just from, like, 
the pure just slam on the table like he, like the other dwarf just like hits his like hits the ground and clutching his arm. I'd like to get up and watch this from my meditation. Yeah, you can you can see that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's and they're just cheering and they're cheering all around as you know, Talon starts showboating almost. Yeah, she nearly broke my arm once, so I'm not gonna go. <laughs> It's also like, any more takers? Come on. There's going to be someone here who's stronger than me. Oh, Wait, who is this? I'm Tom the Bear. I'll have a try. Oh, no. Oh, okay. no. I'll fight you. <laughs> she just raises an eyebrow. Also, get oh, right. So right. We wrestle with our right hands, right? Right. Left hand, I'm putting up a piece of bread. Just raises an table. eyebrow. She just brushes it off awkwardly and just sort of gra like grabs your hand on the, on the table. I need, you to make me a, I need you to make me a strength check if you're gonna... Oh my god. That's the plan. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ooh. Still a little bit right. drunk after the meditation, I think. Right, she's think gonna so. go into it. Right. Suddenly, you're like her like quite calm and chill, cheery demeanor just fades. And suddenly, you just see rage in her eyes. And Pedro just left. <laughs> I Reconnect. can still hear... Yeah. Okay. She rolled worse than you, but has a high up, but has a plus five bonus. So yeah, you are you hold you hold on all right, but she is just very slowly and inexorably pushing your hand towards the end of the te towards the, well, the back of the table, and she's just looking into your eyes with just rage and anger and ferocity. I'm gonna but, smile. No effect. <laughs> Give me another strength check. Uh, yeah, she just like put, she pulls back for a second. You think you get a bit of ground, and then she just slams your hand into the table. You feel it crack underneath, and maybe something else crack a bit as your ta like hand is just slammed into it. Oh my goodness! <laughs> and the draws on and just start cheering. Like her, like her angry demeanor just fades for a second. Yeah, might be quick, but you're not stronger. I think <laughs> I'm gonna go in for a handshake. With which hand? <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm gonna like less handshake is sort of just like weak fist of sorts. We're going for a fist bump. Yeah. Okay. You're a brave man. She, okay. She just uh, struck your fist bump a little harder, a lot harder actually than you think was necessary. I just you think you feel something click out of place. <laughs> Take three points of damage. Oh! This is a very strong woman. I mean, if she can bear her tackle me, yeah. She's called the bear for a reason. I'm yep. gonna go Because you would know that she was that. She, she got her that nickname after apparently, you know, after apparently being stronger than a bear. Mm. You've, got no, you've got no idea if it's hey. true or not, but. You know, we could test that theory. You're not here. <laughs> You're sulking in a tree as a squirrel. Hey, you know, I might come back later and... and... Uh, yeah. yeah. You're gonna... right. I'm going to go to sleep, but before I do, I'm going to say, Go on, go on, Graz. You're going to do it as well if I did. I have tried, and I have failed. I know my limits. Ah, come on, Graz, for all time's sake. As long as you don't break my arm. Well, I can't promise that. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. Straight strength check, right? Well, remember, if you go into a... Just not going to say anything, if you go into a rage, you have advantage on strength checks. True. Do I want to? I'm not going to say anything, but let me give you this really yeah. useful information. <laughs> I really don't want to. <laughs> okay. Okay, you, uh, she sets your hand on the table, grasps it again with this just, you know, ironclad grip. Mm -hmm. She goes into a rage, and you make me strength check. She's going into a rage. Yeah. Ah. Ooh. Good luck with that. You though. pushes on. She pushes onto it. You, you slowly. <laughs> she is slowly gaining ground as we as your hand on it. But you are. You get. You are not like loot like folding as quickly as you normal as you used to against her. She gets a bit of a surprised look almost. Ha! Ah, not bad, ale breaker. You sure? You uh, roll on? another strength check. <laughs> My goodness! Okay. okay, you you managed to just lock her hand in place, and she gives a very surprised look. Not too bad, little green one. 
And they're just shaking, holding exactly even. Oh my god. Will be another strength check. Ooh. Oh! Ooh. And with that, you, you again feel a push a, le push a bit, and then just like this wall of just... Like, this mm. feels like getting hit in the hand of a hammer. Your hand is just slammed into the table again. This time it cracks underneath it and splinters. Oh, <laughs> you don't know if your hand's broken or not, yeah, but it hurts like fuck and is now full of splinters. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, not bad, guys. No one's given me that much of a run in the money in years. Well, not you're than it used to be. You're still the bear. We knew mm -hmm. it. I knew it going in, and I know it going out. Is she not Ouch. cheating if she goes into a rage? Not cheating. Nope. I could have yeah, done the same. If you're not doing the same, it's not really an even fight, is it? I don't. No, I don't know. Isn't... I don't agree with this mindless violence. <laughs> Look. It's a seven foot half orc versus a four and a half, five foot female dwarf. I mean, I've settled her in very well. I'll give her that. Okay. Yeah, the rest of the, rest of the table are just so the rest of the table. You guys were sitting, were just sitting at the table, still cheering on and drinking. But I'm just uh, gonna start plucking out the splinters out of my hands. <laughs> Let me a medicine check. Ah, oh, I didn't get medicine. Okay. Just to make sure you don't, you know, stab yourself in the eye doing it. <laughs> no, I should. Yeah, you, you, but you get them out. It was a very low DC. Thankfully, you just managed to slowly pull like, the hands out. Still, it's bleeding a little, but you know, it's nothing. Not, I've, it, had, you, I've you, you, had before. Like, yeah, you've you've gotten worse falling over drunk, like way worse. I'm falling over sober as well, actually. Mm, don't don't remind me. Just don't remind me. <laughs> yeah. I'll just go back to drinking my ale. <laughs> yeah. It's just the sitting of you. Uh, Barak, you doing anything or? Not really. I'm trying to eye out towards the out camp a little bit. If there's any sort of commotion, we need to form uh... a rescue operation or anything like that. <laughs> but other than that, yeah. just uh, enjoy my beer and uh, meal. Uh, Gruz and. Varric, constitution checks. Are you are either of you drinking hard or just No 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 just, just mildly. Just drinking. Yeah. The fact you are you start a bit tipsy anyway, so Ooh. Gross, you're starting to get a bit a, a bit tipsy, you know, nothing major. But Zar Zarek? Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Weird combination of your of your two names. Uh Varric, you're getting quite drunk at this point. Um, like, you can still stand and walk, but you're swaying quite a bit. Yeah, at that point, once I've finished my beer, I'll just go find myself a spot to sleep in. Yeah, you can just lie down. It is mid- it is like only like mid-afternoon, by the way. Well, a bit of a nap. I'm just Pretend gonna keep a- <laughs> Tactical nap. Yeah. Tactical nappage. Right. Yeah. I will keep an eye to yeah. uh, the ah. el elven camp, though, <laughs> just right, in case. It's, it's been a, right about half an hour later, and uh, no, no, you feel your wild shape slowly losing, losing its duration. Yeah, I'll uh, sneak out the tree and start running back. Yeah, managed to make your way back at this uh, at this point. Uh, yeah, uh, a lot more dwarves are starting to, you know. Collapse. I mean, not collapse. but get very, very clearly get very drunk. Uh, he says no sign of Varric or a um, or a Femena. and Graz is also getting quite drunk along with the rest of his mates. Regaling old war stories. Pretty much, yeah. The old yeah. one, the old ones you've heard the uh, times. Just you know. Do I have one. any idea where I would be supposed to go if I wanted to go to a tent that I could? He uh, no clue. Okay. You saw tents, we didn't see anyone like these. They were none marked for the Nile, oddly enough. <laughs> That's funny. Um, I don't really know anything. Where are they napping then, Theminor and Varric? They probably just found. They probably just found somewhere to pass out. Um, probably just Lord. stood behind some tent. Yeah. Or like, like, like you know, like leaning on a box or whatever. Yeah. Knowing Theminor, he's just somewhere. <laughs> Okay. Knowing Theminor, he doesn't know where he is. <laughs> well, somewhere. That's the, that's the extent of it. Uh, I guess I will I will find uh, the dude that you're with. Gruz. Sorun. 
Yep. He's just, you know, again, like regaling this war story. But Harry had like, jumped on a wyvern and tore its face off. And well, it took its eye, but he'd got its face. So Is technically there a victory. Anyone around that's like not listening to his story? Uh, yes, yeah, there's this, 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 uh, this, uh, like, there's this half orc in the, like, in, on the table who, like, other than Gross, who, he's listening, but, you know, the sign, the kind of listening you've heard the story a thousand times, you yeah, can play it on auto repeat, and he's just sort of quietly sipping his drink, or anything else. Okay, uh, I guess, I guess I will, I will have to address him. Uh, I, from a little meter away. We were told that there would be spare tents around. Yeah, just pick one and go to sleep in it, really. We don't have selected sleeping arrangements, and none of these idiots are really gonna. I doubt a lot of. I really doubt a lot of them will uh, make it back to the tents, so uh, take your pick. How, how do you tell that a tent is not occupied? You make sure no one's sleeping in it. Okay. If the flaps open, it's it's not yet used. Well, a uh, little bit of a tip around dwarves I'll give you. When they sleep, you can hear it. Tent. Having a ten mile radius can okay. hear it. I will try and find an empty tent. You can pretty easily find an empty tent. Of the encampment. Far away yeah. from where all the drunken revelers will attempt to. Yeah, you can, de you can definitely like, find one easily enough. Right. And I'll just... I'm, just... I'm feeling it's dangerously by the in way. with these what? fucking dwarves. I'm, I'm fighting. Uh, they, they, you can hear me while I'm sleeping. We do a lot of walking. I'm, I'm, I'll have a nap, but I will have a, uh, a good, a good, non-drunken nap. Mm -hmm. Short rest. I guess that gives us yeah. uh, more or less at the half per, uh, point. Yeah, so... Right. so you probably just you know drink yourself silly with your old mates. <laughs> Most likely, yeah. Give me a constitution check to see if you can actually like find your way back to a tent, or you just a um sleep on the sleep on the bench. Yeah. Constitution check. No, yeah. I actually make yeah, it back to a fine. tent. You can you make it back to a tent. Yeah. Right. We've done we'll this be before. In... Oh yeah, yeah, plenty of times. Right, we'll be back in about uh, ten minutes for the continuation here. Catch you in a bit. Right, we're all uh. I, I, I am We're ready finished. to... Yep, I have the exact same amount of cookies as I had before because the bottles are at my feet. <laughs> right, so... so it's uh... it's uh, about... You will uh, wake up from your various alcohol-induced uh, slumbers. Or, you know, some of you just had a nap because you felt like it. It's about to wake up about 6, 7 o'clock. Had a good few hours nap, but given and uh, some and you and uh, Varric, you're sobering up mostly. Does that count okay. as a long rest? Not long, but short, short no, rest. Not no, it has to be at least at least it's at least eight hours to cancel to be considered a long rest. Okay. Yeah, Varric, you're still a bit hungover. Uh, for me, you're, you're probably still drunk. <laughs> as I should be. Uh. Mm -hmm. Gros is probably also a bit hangover, but you know, used to it. Yeah, I don't know. I was probably completely fine. Yeah. Right. So, what are we gonna do for the rest of the evening here? Yeah? Probably gonna try to find each other first. <laughs> well, it's not hard to find a seven-foot half orc. Not that much. So, there's two, and one of them is your friend. To you, is your friend, so you know. Yeah. <laughs> Well enough, even easier, even easier to find to find the tiefling knocking around camp. I haven't left my tent yet. That's true. It's about six seven o'clock. The camp's like mostly calm. There, most people. There's dwarves just sort of a um, fooled about. A few found their way into tents. A lot did not get that far. I'm just gonna. Well, I'll say stumble over to the tables and see if there's anything else to eat so I can fill my there's stomach with something. There's a bit of food left, mostly covered yeah. in dwarfs. Get my head back into... <laughs> food <laughs> covered in dwarfs. <laughs> you joke. I mean, there's the tables. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I'll just pick up one of the dwarfs, put them on the side and just sit down. 
Also, I'm gonna <laughs> stow away my tankard again. Just mumble something in Dwarvish. Yeah. Mumble something back in Dwarvish. <laughs> yeah, Merrick will probably find his way somewhere in the vicinity of a cross as well. Yeah. Most people are, are asleep, or are either asleep in their tents, or you know, just there's the old guy standing watch here and there, but it's very quiet. Nothing right. specific happening. No. I'm gonna eat the bread that someone else gave me. Yep. Right. Is it always like this? It's like a whole lot. What with what with the forty third? Yeah. More or less. I see. If we're not fighting, we're drinking. If we're not drinking. We're still drinking. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, the rest of you gonna do anything? I'm probably gonna head in to get a snack as well from the yeah, uh, yeah, join them all. Yeah. I'll go find some warm food. Yeah, there's well, there's nothing warm left at this point. It's been out on the tables for a few hours. It's edible. We've not made anything since since we arrived. Look, everybody's drunk. <laughs> the cooks yeah. are coming. Including Even the us. cooks are drunk. <laughs> or passed out, I'm, I'm Is there assuming. cooking facilities? Oh, uh, there probably is, yeah. Could I find them and then maybe just, like, cook myself something? You probably could. Or do you want to try and cook yourself? <laughs> the hard choices. The hard choices of every D and D session. I'm just thinking. Oh god. Obviously, I've spent a lot of time in the wild. Right. Right. How much knowledge of baking do I have? If baking. I were to say attempt to make a fruit pie. Baking probably not much. I actually like you know like actually cooking like you know say like you know like meats or whatever. Or like you know berry, or like you know making berries or stuff like that. Not making berries? What am I talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'd like druid... to make a berries, there, please. There is a druid spell you can do that with. Good berry, you just make a berry. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I can give, I can give that to myself. But I okay. Well, okay. I don't have to do it well. But can I try and make a pie? With your probably very limited knowledge of pies, I'm going to say try do a straight wisdom check. Okay. I'm pretty wise. Uh, 18, I'm pretty wise. Yeah, you are, you've heard of pies. You think you could pull one out. And uh, you make a pie, an average a pretty decent pie. No, can I smell it? You probably can <laughs> smell it. I'm going to head towards the pie. <laughs> How long does it take to make a pie? Like a while. <laughs> a couple gives him plenty of time to find you. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Tell me True. when I find her. True. I can't, like about halfway through this, like you, this still very drunk dwarf stumbles over to you and just mumbles something in dwarvish, and just collapses backwards on the floor out of the tent you're cooking in. <laughs> okay. That's that good food. It's just snoring again. Okay. I'm gonna just close the flap of the tent. <laughs> yeah. I have no idea how long it actually takes to cook a pie, so... A good okay. amount of time. Five minutes. Four or five minutes? To an hour. Depends on how quick. <laughs> Was it like, were they like ready-made pies that like, sort of... It w I'm baking a pie, man. I'm Wait. baking. Okay, it bakes Wait. for about forty-five minutes. Is that but I had to prepare the dough. Ah, uh, fair. So I'd say about an hour, hour and a half. So I've it's definitely found it. Okay. Yeah, you've definitely found it by now. Can I just say, uh, and I can you do uh, something about this hand of mine? I'm. Uh, it hurts. Please. Do I, I? I just. I only had a short rest, right? So I don't get. Yeah. Yeah. But he also had a short rest. He had surely has some points back. Yeah, you can re we can no, roll I your hit dice if you want. I don't have healing word. Hmm. You can roll your hit dice if you want, Marjack. Yeah, I, I would. What is my uh, hit dice? One d eight. And you can yeah. You can choose to expend the hit dice to gain that much health back. Yeah, I will. It's replenished on a long rest. 
Yeah. You, you, your hand just get your hand just gets better a bit, you know. Just some scabs left. <laughs> I can't help you anymore, but when this pie is finished, you can have some if you like. Yes, please. Did you enjoy the bread? I did. It was a good snack. It's a whole loaf of bread. <laughs> <laughs> what are snacks like where you're from? <laughs> I oh, yeah. Hungry. oh yeah! Oh yeah! I just had this uh, this whole, whole chicken. It's just a quick appetizer, you know. Also, where did you leave it when you were a squirrel? Never mind. In don't my ask. backpack, obviously. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's like it's like a squirrel, and then it's just a massive like hiking <laughs> bag on the. <laughs> so you're invisible. It's just your backpack is jumping around. <laughs> mm. yeah, okay, mm. that makes perfect sense. Mm. <laughs> yeah. All right. So once we've all gathered, uh, probably around the tables again, uh, Varric will ask. So, do we have a plan what we're gonna do? What makes you think we're gathered around the tables? I'm eating my pie in secret with them and all. <laughs> okay, that sounds like something cross. else. <laughs> that might Look, sounds like. I mean, definitely there's is. There's a lot of hungry dwarves. Okay. I have yep. somehow, having never really cooked before properly in my life, wisdomed myself up a pretty decent fruit pie. I'm very proud. I feel guilty about using healing hands on the dude and therefore can't help them anymore. So I, I let him share the pie with me. Very good pie. Mm, delicious. <laughs> Double entendre. <laughs> So the rest all the rest. So rest all the they're still co uh, conked they're out. mostly knocked out. There's a. Uh, yeah. You do notice a. Um, uh, you do notice a uh, Arakum in sort of in the corner, just reading over a few ledgers, just uh, casually. Gonna approach him and ask him if he uh, knows more about the dark mark they encountered. That dark. Uh, well, if I know that's. No, I don't really go in for that kind of dark magic bullshit. Just Neither give me something. Just, just give me something in front of me that I can punch in the face, and I'll be happy. I hear you, but we encountered it several times now. Well, hmm. Well, there's probably got to be some mage living in that. He just points over to the to the citadel. Might be able to tell you what you're looking for. Some kind of scholar, maybe. Sorry, what? Who's? Scala? No, no, a scholar. Oh, a scholar. It's the, it's the accent. For a moment, I thought you said a name, but yeah. Uh, I mean, I haven't exactly looked much in there, but well, big city such as this, there's got to be someone who knows their shit. Mm, I certainly hope so, because it's, it's currently uh, uh, flips the page in his ledger. So, what's going to be your plan while you're waiting here? And I assume you're doing more than just getting drunk with us. That's just the start of it, isn't it? <laughs> Now, we're investigating this mark, and it's been spreading. Mm. We need we need to find out what the source is. Well, it's... good luck, good luck with that. But if you're looking for uh, well, official help or, or work, he just looks he just looks left and right. I'll be honest here, guys. Uh, this fortress it's uh, understaffed. I haven't looked at the exact, you know, troop numbers here or how many are joining, but I can tell. And I got that feeling, you know, that something's coming. So say you were to, I don't know, go to the commanders of that fort and say, hey, I'm a mercenary. Got any work for me? Probably pay out their ass for it. Just, uh, what saying. I'll keep that in mind. Hmm. Can always use some more coin. Mm. Especially after losing a bet yesterday. <laughs> well, that's worth your own fault for betting on that. Hey, worth the money. <laughs> Say, if you do want to find someone to give you some work on that, I, uh, well, didn't bump into, but I was, uh, I had to report into one of the, uh, commanders in there, up in the, uh, Citadel. Goes by the, uh, the name Citadel Commander Tristan Hawk. Probably the guy you want to go to if you uh, 
Need some jobs. I'll keep that in mind as well. And I'll ask yeah. the rest of my group if they're interested. Seems like a decent enough guy for uh, for a military man. But well, uh, seemed a lot wiser and stronger than his uh, age suggested. Young bloke then. Well, young for a young for a officer at least. Oh, is he royal? Well, couldn't tell. I haven't exactly got a good eye for that kind of thing. Hmm. Because royals going up, that's always trouble. Yeah. We'll see about it. Yeah. I'll keep it in mind. Though I will notice, there's uh, thankfully few peacocks, few peacocks uh, around here than usual. Last time I was here it was all a bunch of lords and they're just, you know, retinue you will say. Hmm. More actual soldiers, which makes for a nice change. But not enough, you say. But not enough. Well, either way, good luck on whatever you're seeking, and he sort of reaches his hand out. And I shake it? Yeah, he's a good strong shake. Gets back to his ledgers. Take care, man. Hmm. He sort of like uh, grumbles to you and, uh, like in, in orcish. You too, man. I'll move back to the table. Varric is still sitting there, I take it. Yep. I'm gonna save a piece of pie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> for later consumption. No, for Varric. Ah, well, pocket pie. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna put it in a It's pocket. a thing. I'm gonna wrap it up g gently in, in, in something that's around. I don't know what's around. Is there a piece of something, cloth? Some, something that looks so it. clean. <laughs> Probably some cloth you can wrap it in. But yeah. And then go and find him. Because I'm not walking with an open food around these hungry dwarves. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a wise decision. Mm hmm. Hmm. Yeah, you can pretty easily find you can pretty easily uh, uh, find a uh, find uh, Gruz and uh, Varric. I'm just kind of like put it in front of Varric and uh, kind of mumble, "Thank you for helping me with the uh, horses and the cart yesterday, today, late earlier." <laughs> Sorry. No problem. Are you gonna come too, Femena? Yes. <laughs> Not just gonna sit in like an empty cooking tent. <laughs> he might. But that does sound like him. If there's cooking ale involved. <laughs> oh gosh, the sherry. Cooking <laughs> <laughs> sherry, oh boy. Yeah. So you're two just sitting together on that bench, or that table, mm -hmm. even. Well, I'm, I'm gonna tell that we might actually have a line on the job if I talk to a man in the Citadel. How long are we staying here for? Well, nobody else here knows about the Dark Mark. We can find a scholar in the Citadel, and we could also find some work in the Citadel, and they probably would pay us well. Because apparently... There's less and less soldiers here to defend it, and the pressure is building. Hmm. So they might well take us on. Mercenary work, I know, but it's honest work. And it pays, yes? Oh yeah, it pays. Nah, no, voluntary oh. mercenary work, you know the type. <laughs> Speaking of paying, we have cargo in our cart. Yes. That we, we should, should be able... I mean, you all know who to sell to here. We will not. We should be able to sell it all off in the Citadel. There's plenty of shops around there. Okay. Probably in armories. And armor. Mostly yes, most armor. weapons and armor, yeah. Well, we should probably make our way to the Citadel and uh, find a tavern there. And find more information in the morning. We could do that, but I mean, I'm all for doing some 
some work here, but I do not intend to stay here for too long. I do not intend to turn back to the 43rd as either. It was a good time while it lasted, but military work is no longer for me. But I do want to find out what happened, and I do want to find out what this mark is about. I'm more than willing to help you with that. We shall stay while we learn things. Hopefully one of the scholars in the Citadel can tell us more. As you're sort of discussing this, you notice like a uh, movement from the a uh, um movement from the a uh, um from like the gatehouse on like a lot of large body of people coming through. Maybe for maybe perception checks. What do your eyes see, Themino and Varric? I definitely don't see a lot. Now, nah, what do your tiefling eyes see? <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, you know, you can, like, all of you apart from Gruz, who's just sort of, you know, a bit distracted about, you know, things. Uh, Nana, Varric, and Femina, you can see, like, looks to be a large contingent of, like, figures in, you know, very, like, resplendent armor. And a, um... Uh, you can't really make the make out the, the details on them this far, but as they get closer, you notice they're all dragonborn, of varying like colours and like a, a varying colours, but they all they're all marching you know in per almost perfect unison, all this like glittery like very resplendent armour. At the head of them, a silver, a silver like not a, a silver dra a dragonborn with a um very very resplendent armour. Who are these? Yeah, they're coming, there, yeah. Kazoo, who are they? Are, are they stuck? coming from the west in? They're coming, yeah, they're coming into the fort. From the west, okay, same same direction we came in. Yeah. Okay. At cool. this point... At this point, a, um... Uh... At this point, you a, um... You sort of a, uh... Sorry, I was my, my, my... That's the wrong tab! Why are you like <laughs> this many notes? notes. Why are you like this? Too many plot threads. A hey, um, yeah. At this point, now uh, Avakum uh, comes over and says, Ugh. "So they're finally here then." What's this about? Well, then you hear the Empire has been apparently making more and more uh, with uh, dragonborn houses of what? varying degrees of reputedness. Hmm. And while they may look like peacocks, oh Christ, I've seen these guys in combat. They're uh, for all their peacocky nature, they do have a uh, a bite to back up their uh, showiness. Glad they're here at the very least. They're always good to have on your side. Well, yeah, and you notice them sort of setting up in the a uh, um, sort of setting up in the, their own field, about like maybe a quarter of a mile away, very, very orderly and like uh, like efficient. Let me guess, the dragonborn will be talking in a German accent. They'll be talking in a upper-class British accent because I've been playing too much Unity. <laughs> <laughs> we'll all sound incredibly imperious. Hmm. Yeah, they don't seem to be paying you guys any any real attention. Right. Well, should we head to to little then? Spit on the floor. Wait, you're spitting on the floor for the... Yep. Angrily. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> I, just okay there, there. The <laughs> I just I just noticed that. I was like, hmm, it's not just orc she hates. <laughs> and now it's fantasy <laughs> racism continues. <laughs> just mumble that. Hmm. You know, it's out from the group of a uh, of the dragon ones. One, uh, the very resplendently armored one starts making towards the city gates. 
Oh, the Citadel. Yeah, they're Citadel gates, yeah. Mm. Well, we're heading that way anyways. Watch it. Follow from a distance. Inconspicuous like, you know, just casually you're walking. You're in an empty field, there is no stealth. No, no, casual like. Yeah. <laughs> it's like... Oh, casual like. <laughs> All right. But yeah, as you start approaching the Citadel gates, a um, second one in front of you like just like holds a paper up and is like like wave through uh, qu very quickly. So sort of, uh, you notice there are a few guards outside and a uh, and a uh, one clerk with a uh, just like a clipboard and a bit and a bit of a um, parchment. Hmm, this might be a slight problem. Ferric, think you can bullshit our way in or in here? You mean you're not allowed into this place even though you are... I'm very confused. Let's just take I... a second Look, here. That man uh, waved something, we... and we don't have anything to wave about around. Well, this, that might this be his order. This is not... Why, why are Muzz's people here? I what? don't understand. I d I thought Those are not we my were... people. No, no, no. Your, your people are here. Yeah, the dwarves. I but thought not... we'd come to see them, yes. but they don't. We don't not... have access to the citadel, apparently. What or maybe we do. I don't know. Why are they here? Let me just, just, just a straight intelligence check. What me? me? All of you. Who? All of you. Just yeah. Okay. I feel like I've severely misunderstood some things about about why we're uh, here and where we are. Right. Right, short recap, we came here because I got a letter from Dalobrook who, who told me he might know more about the Dark Mark. Okay. What I did not know, and I just witnessed, is that the Citadel is not easily accessible. Before you say that, uh, no one from you would know the Citadel, it's, 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 it's probably available. They just like to keep a tab on who's going in and coming out. It's not really hugely sort of uh, like policed. They'll just say, oh, they'll just, you know. But who owns keep... the Citadel? What, it's an em what? It's, it's Imperial. It's owned by the Human Empire. It's Stadden. So why are the dwarves here? We're just here fighting. Or they are just here fighting and mercenaries. Oh, mm. they're being hired by yeah. the people. Well, okay. they serve the Empire for the most part. Well, so technically, they're, they're, a, they're a Dwarven regiment because the, because the, the North and Estrega yes. Empire Kingdom, the Dwarven Kingdom, is allied to the Empire. They often send regiments down to sort of assist the Empire. Okay. So they've been sent here from the Dwarven and Dragon places yeah. to the human places. Yeah. Because the humans are having some problems with we assume yeah. these orcs and things yeah you would uh, know from another that yeah you can't be let in just you know it's, it's basically just give you a once over basically to make sure you're not clearly you know bad <laughs> yeah well let's go I don't think we need to bullshit that way just let them know a little bit about who we are. I can try that. I know a few names now. Yeah, as you sort of approach the gate and get very close to the cloak, it says, Names! I am Gross. Formerly with the 43rd Steelbreakers. Yes, yes, yes. Barak. Menar. Tiamen mm. uh, What's your purpose in the city? Or is Lockhart not with us? Uh, Lockhart has just gone. She, she went to go find a tavern. Well, he. Well, there. It's a he. Yeah, it's a he. It's a he. I forget. I forget with Fox's voice. Okay. <laughs> they went to find a tavern. You don't know where he is. What's your What's your uh, reason for, for entering the citadel? I want to speak to Tristan Hawk to see if we can have some work. Ah, mercenaries, are you? Well, go right through. He, uh, writes a, he just writes out a piece of paper quickly and just sort of like hands it to you. If any guards ask for, uh, it should be it should be able to get you a meeting with him. 
Thank you very much. Do Just we have our card one. with me, uh, us, by the way? Uh, did you pick it up when you looked before you left? Yes. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no. <laughs> I mean, we were planning on selling some. Assuming that, we did. yes, we did. Yeah, you should probably bring it in. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Could I, are the you... guards give it a few looks over there. I'm not pulling it up. Just like, you know, looking up and down it, just nodding. Well, no, going no through. No gold or anything. Yeah. Lord of the Empire. And he just sort of waves you through. Oh, in we go. We should probably find a uh, smithy or something for to sell off some of our uh, gear. So this is... Okay. Sorry. So this is like... A village, but it's like a village inside it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a city a inside. It's a, it's a city inside of a fortress. It's basically a, a fortress city. Okay. Think like okay, Minas cool. Tirith. Yeah, okay. I was about to say yeah. Minas Tirith. Yeah, well, it's, 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 it's a large tiered city, so yeah, it's, it's, an, apt, it's an apt metaphor. <clears throat> okay. I I understand now. I think some things about <laughs> why everything is as it is. Cool. Well, slowly driving into the city then. Yeah, you're going. It seems you're in the sort of the lowest area. Of the, it's quite bustling. Not necessarily the nicest of a um, of like you know buildings here and there, but it's not like low quality. It's not necessarily rich. Something you do notice as you go through that the further the sort of the further up the hill you get, the, the buildings are always the buildings up the further uphill from like the other ones. For the ones uphill, are always slightly, at least slightly taller than ones downhill from them. Like all the way up, you're l looking up. So it's literally. Tears, going... yeah, yeah. Basically. That's a lot of stairs. Indeed. But there's also a cart path, so we can follow that. Yeah, it, 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 it's it's not hugely steep, but. No. So when you do this, you mean oh. more like this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but the back wall of the city rests against, like, you know, the, the cliff face. So, yeah, it is literally... It is quite like Minas Tirith. Okay, what cliff face? Well, the it, northern one, maybe? Yeah, the, the southern one. So it, it would be oh, there. It would be, it'd be basically where the, uh, where the F is. Okay. Okay. Press F. This, this drawing has thrown me off immensely. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, okay. Fantasy maps for shit, turns out. <laughs> but, yeah, you can easily, uh, yeah, like, get through the, uh... You can easily get, just try and find a, um... So you're just looking for a smithy? You're gonna try and, like, ask anyone, or just a, um... We may ask somebody who's, uh... Who looks like a local, at least, so not one... Hmm. Well, there's a lot of soldiers, a lot of people just milling through generally. Like, a bunch of, a lot, a lot, like, a fair few traders, like, heading up, like, a, um... Heading up, you know, with, with weapons up, the, like, up the hill. Or with, with just, like, ore, based, mo mostly. Anything that specifically looks like a smithy we see? Uh, not around you. Hmm. Well, let's keep looking. Tavern? You could very easily find a tavern. There's several on like the way, mate. On the Wayne, the Wayne, Wait, what? The Master Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> on the main, a uh, sort of like sort of road up through the city. Uh, there's several taverns either side of the a uh, um of the road. Well, if we park here, we can ask so for some direction. Stay the night. Go ahead. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. This is more your expertise. Right, I'll just get off the cart, into the tavern, yeah. ask, uh, approach yeah, this, the bartender. Yeah, it's this. Uh, it's quite. It's quite. You know, not a market, but you know, pretty, it's, it's decent. You know, the, uh, but like um, tavern called the White Flag, and it's just there's a lot of you know, a lot of, are quite busy right now. There's a lot of soldiers, a lot of locals just sitting there enjoying a drink. Did you say the White Flag or the White Flag? The, the White Flagon. Oh, thank God. Uh, the White Flagon <laughs> is the French bar. It's just down the road. <laughs> Just checking. Wait. Where are we? 
We're in front of the tavern, the white flagon, and I just moved inside to talk to the bartender. Okay. Yeah, but you're going to approach the bartender? Yes. Uh, yeah, it's this quite uh, uh, thin elven man in his sort of... Not... You know, young, the sort of thin young elven man who just sort of hits the bartender. Ah, yes, uh, can I get you anything? Good, sir. I would like some information. Oh, that goes freely. Uh, do you know a good smithy around here? I know several good smithies. Uh, you won't want to. You want to go up the hill uh, to the second tier of the city, the uh, the anvils. Dare say you can find at least one smithy around there. Thank you very much. No problem. And he sort of uh, nods and uh, goes back to sort of wiping the bar down. Right, going outside and just side. We need to be on the second ter level. So onwards. <laughs> Okay. Stephen, Stephen and Stanley okay for this? <laughs> They're fine. Thank you. My name is Stephen. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't got cast that. Talk to animals on. You haven't got pet pal to cast, unfortunately, so. Nope. No, I pet don't. But I could cast it. I could continue to waste my spells on various <laughs> things just to, just to have. That lasts for like an hour as well, right? So. Yep. Actually, it only lasts for 10 minutes. Wow. So... <laughs> and there's not at higher levels. Oh, no, no, no. Am I even... Wait, there's two? No, that is... You can no. always okay. cast on a higher level. Uh, some spells you can't. Shame. I mean, you can't, but it might not add anything to you. Yeah, well, yeah, you can always can do it. It just might be pointless. Oh, it's ritual, though, so I don't actually have to. Well, yeah, we just spend an hour preparing, then, to yeah. cast a ten-minute spell. What did you think I was doing in the tent? <laughs> I was not inquiring. Fair. Anyway, you sort of like move through the more like sort of not commercial, but the more sort of a uh, more like residential and commercial, and it moves more into the like the the, the heavy industrial. There's like smiths and like furnaces and huge like a. Um, storehouses and like you know foundries and there's just like, like the, the air is just thick with with smoke not like it's still like eminently breathable it's just you know a bit dusty and it's very loud it's the sound of like you know hammers hitting like hitting like steel and just it's very loud well i'll just approach the first smithy i see uh yeah you can probably find like some independent smithy just sitting there while you're a um while you're sort of a, um, just on the main thoroughfare. Well, first of all, I got a, uh, where is it? I've got an armor to, to pawn off. Mm -hmm. It's a steel armor, I think. It's the one I got okay. from the crypt. Okay. He just, go, he just gives it a look over. It's this, a, um, half elven chap, just sort of like quite, you know, a buff, but still. Still quite life and life and gross of the look of him, and he's just sort of looking over this armor. Mm, quite, quite dinged up. Well, it's also quite old, so it yes. is. I, I got why that. Why are you? Why are you sh selling us you down? Where did you find? Where did you find this anyway? Don't often get her curiosity pieces. Well, if you don't want it, I'll just go to another salesman. Not quite what I was saying. Then what are you saying? I'm asking where you got it. And I'm telling you that I will not inform and give you that information. All right. Well, for armor this dinged up, say, not terrible for sc for scrap. Say about fifty gold. You are so bad at this. Fifty. Fifty. We can't hear this, right? Because we're outside. Yeah. Make a make a seventy-five. Let me let me make me a persuasion check, Gros. Oh shit, that's a minus one. Oh, he just raises not... an he just raises an eyebrow. Hey, I'm no you... trader, okay? <laughs> you are not haggling me up on scrap metal, mate. Fifty gold, take it or leave it. I'll take it. Oh my Thank goodness! You kindly. He just like, takes over the uh, the armor and hands you over fifty gold. Hey, I just more than doubled my money. Thank you very much. <laughs> Your money? That that is the armor I picked up. 
And, We've all and, been carrying it. No, and as the, immo- and as the, immo- <laughs> and as the immortal wall goes, finders keepers. Oh my goodness. That is the armor I picked up from the crypts. No, some of it's the armor that we all No, got this is from just a single armor. This is just a single armor I've currently selling, selling just that piece, but there is also I'm the just... armor that we picked up. You didn't you didn't think to sell everything? No, I just sold this first. This is just the single armor. Nothing else. Okay. It's the old wrecked piece of armor. As he said, it's basically scrap. Hmm. This is so a lot of scrap, but still scrap. Yeah. But yeah. So the rest of you, you're just sort of standing outside in the uh, sort of on the street or whatever. Yep. I'll just walk outside. This sucker will buy anything. May as well try to sell our crossbows here. <laughs> <laughs> the confidence with which you say this upsets me. You, you, know, you, you, you don't know. You don't know. <laughs> no, I know I don't know. <laughs> That's why it's so upsetting. <laughs> well, we have plenty of armor from the uh, motley crew, as they were. Yeah, the armor from the highwaymen and the crossbows. And... Oh, we didn't put it in the loot. <laughs> yeah, we have a loot thing now. Yeah, yeah. We, the crossbows are in there. We didn't put the armor in. I did not remember them. <sighs> the armor wasn't in great shape. And by great, I mean it was in shreds. But we Can still I go have looking it. for a better staff to buy? Ah, uh, you could go and look for a um. You go. Let's, you, you could go and look for one, but you don't really seem to. You have a quick peruse around the area, but. There tends to be, there's not really a lot of a, um, you know, wooden goods around here. So can I get a metal staff? I mean, you could. It wouldn't have much more of a, it wouldn't have any real benefit to a wooden one, but... Where would I sell uh, gems? Just chill for a bit. Sell gem. I think I just converted those to gold. Yeah, you can straight convert that to gold if you want, because that's a, um, it okay. can often be used as, like, you know... A okay. subject to actual organized currency. Okay then. Yeah, so the rest of you just sort of out in this mate out in the sort of a um uh, out in this sort of a uh not main square but like almost like a plaza area of this uh sort of large industrial area. So the rest of you just sort of in the street. Mm. Actually, uh, Eric might want to go check uh, what he has to offer. Oh, well, does, he has an offer. Uh, uh, it's mostly just mundane standard issue gear. Like, you get the sense that these guys are paid to mass produce, like, standard gear, and not a lot, like, greater goes on beyond that, or at least not that's sold here. Uh, would there be any studded leather armor? You could certainly buy some studded leather, yeah. Might do that. Although Varric might want to try to haggle the price a little bit. I mean, diplomacy. I mean, not it's not called fucking diplomacy. Persuasion. <laughs> oh dear. Well, I would normally wouldn't be great. However, the uh, the however the, the other guy bought an at one. <laughs> so, all right, I'll give it to you for twenty. We've got a surplus here. Price is down a bit. I'll take it. Hmm, pleasure doing business with you. Likewise. I mean, looking at the player's handbook, the stud leather goes for 45 normally. I thought it went for, I thought it went for 25. Oh. Oh, ho ho! Well, no, no vaccines. Really vaccines. No vaccines. <laughs> that, those are the rules. Those are the rules. Hmm. So as you sort of uh, come outside of your new like shiny studded leather armor, Farrick, yeah. the a uh, um, the uh, sort of you look like you. Let me let me just perception check all of you. So I assume we're out here. 
Oh, <laughs> let me go again. <laughs> here we go again. Uh, here we go again. For many of the Nanar, you sort of like hear this disturbance on the side of the street and you see this, uh, to this large sort of foundry building, the largest that you can see in the local, like around you. This, a, uh, um, that dragonborn fellow you saw a, um, that you saw like enter the city earlier, just being just, like forcibly escorted out of the, a, uh, um, out of the building by these two, uh, like, these two burly gentlemen. Hoo-hoo. Not being like strong armed, just being, you know, like, 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 like turned away. And he sort of Why? starts like, walking out towards the square. Why am I not surprised? That At this point, the 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 the, 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 this, the double door on this say uh, this balcony of the area like open, and this another large like sort of taller dragonborn enters out. This red-skinned gentleman, just they just laugh, they just even across the like the you know, even across the din, you can hear just laugh with this almost imperious like sort of aura almost. More like a kind of like a red prince. I'm not doing a Red Prince impression. I'm not doing it. Hang on. Are we talking Dragonborn versus Dragonborn here? Hmm. Hmm. Yes. Mm. Uh, Maya Stan, Maya Stan, Maya Stan. I'm tired. Is he sort of like after this laugh? As much as I would love to conclude our little uh, blood feud elsewhere, I have business calls, if you don't mind. And he's just this dragon ball on the floor. Just just feel the seethe of anger. He draws like this this, this like long sword at his uh, belt. All the, like the guards around suddenly react. Just like you know, they reach for their weapons. The uh, dragon ball looks around. Just sees that like there's nothing could be good here, and just puts his blade back in the sheath and storms off up the hill towards the citadel. Which one? The uh, the one that had been shown out. The silver one. Yeah. Give me a sec. But this one red one seemed to have come from like inside. Of yeah. This. That's where he, he didn't come from with the others. Mm, yeah. And he just uh, sort of surveys the square a bit. And a um, just sort of with this imperious gaze. Almost. Doesn't seem to like notice anything out of the ordinary. And just simply goes back into the in, into his a uh, foundry. Just the distract the distraction just goes away, and everything is back to usual again. Right. So, did we already sell all the crossbows and stuff? Or what was he in a shop or a like a large foundry building, like a. Uh... A large workshop, almost. Okay. So, what are you guys doing now? We still got those uh, crossbows to sell, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're a little bit damaged, but you can still uh, sell them off. I'm gonna go back in and try and sell them off again. Why not? Or okay. we can just find another place to sell. I'm gonna stay in the car. I'm just gonna have a look. Oh, I'd say they're a bit damaged, so you could sell. I could say you could sell each crossbow you have for about ten gold each, and just you know buying second hand. All right, so ten golds each. <laughs> yeah. So that's four crossbows, ten gold each. Forty gold. gold. And the rest is what scrap metal, so. Okay. So we put that in the lot in the lockbox, right? Mm. Sounds good to me. Oh. Okay. Yeah, you get that. But yeah, you could. You, so what now? You've got your. You now you've sold everything off. The car's will be lighter with all that. All the uh, half broken crossbows. Well, that's good. So where to next? Oh, should we find a tavern, or should we try to go talk to? 
commander. I would also like to find a scholar. I mean, it's getting late, isn't it? It's about seven, eight now, but hmm. still the like forges are still sort of bellowing out. There seems to be no sign of you know stopping soon. Is there a temple nearby? Hmm. Uh, looking around, let me a quick uh, perception check. Oh god, here we go again. <laughs> Even None that you can see. Even with the plus four, god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> no matter how good your bonus is, you can always roll badly. Yeah, well, I've been doing that consistently at least. <coughs> Just wait, no all your good luck and we stop at the time you really need it. Yeah. Well, I won't, you'll die. One or the other, generally. Well, in combat it's usually okay, so... <sighs> so, yeah. Anyone else want to do anything? Not really, just hanging back near the cart. Guess we'll have to find a tavern then for the night. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't mind some food and a good sleep. First time cool. in ages, we're gonna have to pay for food and sleep. <laughs> well, better get used to it, because that's the way of the world. Mm -hmm. So you're going to go back to the uh, taverns? That's one level down, right? Yeah. yeah. May as well. Yeah. We should drop the cart off, even if we are not done. We have finished with our... Um, Uh, trading, so. You want to find a tavern that can hold a cart? Park a cart somewhere in the garage, whatever. In a the barn. garage! In a barn. Fucking in English. a barn? What you, Stables! In a, Stables, in fine. In city. Oh, oh, you should just put in a field. <laughs> Even stables could be f difficult to find in the city after. But hey. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, uh, Going back to the tavern you went to, the uh, white, the uh, white flagon. They, they have, a, they have a stables they can uh, offer you. Cool. How much? Oh, uh, if, uh, depends. Just for stabling, that's uh, only about uh, half, only about uh, five silver per uh, day. We may well park us here then. Mm. Yeah. Uh, do you want rooms as well, or just um? How much for a room? Well, it depends. Uh, for how how many rooms do you want? You, you guys want right to share now, rooms? I guess the right now four. I mean, right. we could share rooms. Let's see, singles for each. That's about uh, five silver each. Uh, two gold in total per night. We just five silver. Them. Wait, is it five and ten? Is ten is one? Yeah. Oh, I thought it's, it was a hundred and one. No, that. No, it's no. ten and one. Okay. Then I need to re do some re. I mean, we could pay we that read from the currency the... system. Yeah. We could pay from the loot box. Yeah, probably paying from the loot box since we're all oh, using Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Wrong button. Whoa! There we wow. go. Wow. <laughs> that was the wrong button. Oh, hello. You don't need to be there. But yeah, you can control have... shift C. Ooh. I just pulled up the source cord by accident. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, we're paying from the. We did we already pay? Yeah, yeah, I paid from the loot box. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. Rooms are wherever you need them. Yeah, just uh. The money. If you need anything, just uh, come down. We can uh, help you out. I think I'm probably just gonna go straight to bed. To be honest. So well, you had two... a nap, walked up a, a bit of a hill, and going back to bed immediately. Well, oh, that's seminar. You forget who I am. True. Yeah, I can believe it. <laughs> but yeah, you get shown to your rooms. They're, they're nice enough. They're not amazing quality, but you know, you know a decent, ta decent middle of the line tavern fare. Beds are at least reasonably comfy, and you know, long enough. 
Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's long enough. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> even even for you, it's still it's quite accommodating. That's pleasant. Well, they haven't got. There isn't a lot of room in it. <laughs> hey, I'll just lay sideways. That's fine. <laughs> Crossways. It's like dangling off the bed in either direction. <laughs> Been there, done that. <laughs> there too. <laughs> oh yeah. I so. want to stay down in the tavern for a sec. Okay. Have a word with the uh, innkeep. Mm-hmm. You mm. have uh, many... How much do you know of the people who work here? There's a lot of them. Oh, a decent amount. Word passes through here a lot. We uh, pick things up, you know? So you know of... Uh, the dragonborn who owns the foundry. Ah, uh, yeah. Morval. The jackal, as some uh, call him affectionately. He's, uh, we know, I know of him, yeah. Our paths have crossed before. I, what oh, my he... apologies. Yes. I hear he's not one to, uh, cross. Huh. Well, neither am I. Sort of raises an eyebrow. Is he here permanently, or is this just... He's here often. His uh, foundry is here. He's got an estate up on the uh, third tier. You know, I can't say I know a huge amount about the man's personal dealings. That's fair enough. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, no problem. He just goes back to polishing down his uh, drinks. I will go to the rooms. Mm -hmm. Same as the rest of them. Yeah. Thumbs? Everyone else? Then, mm -hmm. Well, we've only paid for some of them. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely need some sleep. Even in this busy city, you can still hear the sound of the men are snoring through the walls. Just pull the pillow over my head and try to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> with no luck out here to defend you, what can you do? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I could look to pick. I'll pick the lock. Mother. I never locked it. I'm, I feel safe. <laughs> well, I can make it locked. Oh, you can lock him in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that wouldn't solve the snoring problem. It would only make it worse. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> but yeah, you all eventually drift off to sleep, even in this busy, uh, busy town. Okay. Um, but, yeah, the morning does eventually come. You will wake up fairly early, about five, six o'clock, as you uh, slept quite a lot the other, the uh, previous day and went to bed early. It's very true. Yay! Yay! I'm assuming there's some sort of breakfast. Yeah, there's uh, there's some uh, like an early morning skeleton crew out. I could do with some food. Mm. We get any uh, HP back? Well, long rest. Yeah. You're good. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. If it's a long rest, you've got everything back. Mm. Nice. Yeah. That's just sort of a again. It's the same. Uh, it's the same uh, elven bartender you saw before. Just like giving out the breakfasts. I assume everyone's buying. Yep. Mm, yep. Yeah. Yeah, he's just a, uh, he's just like, you know, like putting down the uh, plates and he, he, he puts down your uh, meal and I said, uh, funny you mentioned about, uh, mentioning about, uh, uh, Morval. I had someone else ask last night as well. Oh. Yeah, um, uh, elven woman, just, uh, full leathers. P priestess of a uh, Callista, if I had to guess. Also, intra also, uh, having a look see. Could you point me towards this woman? Well, I don't know her, her exactly, but if it's Temple of Callistra, you want the uh, House of Golden Veils. It's a um, just down the road in the a uh, um, it's around the uh, around the, around the Elven dist the Elven uh, quarter on the lower levels. Quite hard to miss. Very uh, opulent. I'm assuming we can all hear this, right? Uh, yeah. Would she be a scholar? 
Or oh. would there be scholars around there? Uh, I mean, well, Callistrians aren't big on, 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 you know, huge on lore, but well, it's possible. If you want law, though, you're better off asking on the uh, top on the top level. There's a but can... rumor is there's a bunch of grey arcanists on the top on the uh, that have come in recently. If well, if you want them to know, if you want to lo learn something interesting, there'll be them you want to know about it's to do with magic at least. Grey arcanists. Yeah. Where Very can we find them? Strange types. I don't know really too well, but they're been but they've been knocking around the uh, top tier for a while. Hard to miss. Uh, long grey and gold robes. They uh, all wear face masks. A little unsettling, if you ask me, but well. With how intelligent they're purported to be, I think they, I think they deserve a little unsettling. I'll lean into Ninar. What is this about Morval? I just... Uh, I'm interested to see what this elf has to say. But you can go and find out what you can about the the uh, black mark that we have been encountering. And perhaps find us some work. Can do. Yeah, I wouldn't mind paying a visit to the Temple of Calistria. For all time's sake. <laughs> <laughs> now, the District Temple of Calistria is that can mean a lot of things. Indeed. <laughs> to be fair, I would like what to. What am visit... I missing here? <laughs> uh, so, make a religion check. So, yeah, make a religion check. Just uh, off fans, you remember anything about, the, about about? I've spent yeah. a lot of time in trees and not a lot of time in books. In book, I no no no. I spent my entire childhood in books. It's just you know, if it's anything past, it it's very old. Oh but... oh okay, hang on. Okay, out of context, would I be able to find the cleric of Calistra, whom, uh, our good friend has uh, encountered? <laughs> You know uh, the yeah, one. That, that's only a rumor. You don't know who did. I, I mean, if you did, I, you I rolled okay. it at seventeen, but I rolled it on, on the wrong. I mean, you rolled it on the wrong. Well, I, 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 I rolled it. I can show you if you want proof. That's all. I trust you. Uh, right. You would know then that a um, a Calistria is the uh, is the most famous of the El of the Elven deities and is the. Uh, Goddess of uh, trickery, lust, and revenge, and he tends to be very popular among a uh, elves, as they're, they're, as uh, as she's the most popular deity of their pantheon. It's actually reasonably popular with other non-elves, uh, unlike the rest of their gods. You might know that the uh, that the, apparently the temple uh, in Ring of Iron has one of the is one of the, is the largest in the empire. Oh. And as a result, there's a very large, there's, well, there's a quite a large elven population in the Ring of Iron. Okay. That that is interesting. You said trickery. Trickery, lust, and revenge. Ah. And the deity is Celtic neutral. I'll drink to that. <laughs> With a little bit of extra effort, I could drink to that, but <laughs> no. Yeah. Okay. I'll be heading up to the top level then, mm. trying to find the. Uh... Uh, I think we'll call it here then, because I'm starting to flag a bit, sorry. Very well. That's well, I'll have to call it here, and yeah, we'll be back. A convenient cutoff point. That's true. Before you go to your separate interesting places. Mm. <laughs> yep. That's going to be fun. <laughs> right. Thank you all for watching. Uh, we'll be back hopefully next week with more Dungeons and Dragons, the final eclipse. Bye bye. Death. Bye. See you later. Hello. Bye.